Okay, we're all recording. We're back. Let's go ahead and continue Earthbound, everybody. Figuring out what to do. Pa Paula, where are you? It's time for a yummy piece of pie. He doesn't know where Paula is. We already talked to the guy in Berglund Park, though, right? Hold up. Where is that? Uh, that's below me. I don't remember where anything was in Tucson. Oh, hang on. I thought I could get away. Immediate battle. Runaway dog and its cohorts are attacking. Loud piercing howl. This sounds like a chance to go ahead and use... Ouch. Hang on. Use the PSI. There's stray dogs. And just random officer there. Became tame. Okay, nice. 10 damage to the teddy is not nice. Apparently Paula's father only does that if you stay at the hotel after talking to him and leave. Yeah. 94 XP. Okay. I'm not sure what to do at the current moment, but when I need help, I will put the help teddy on screen. Hang on. Let me see. When the bear is holding up the help sign, that means it's okay to give advice, but... Otherwise, don't... Let's not just, uh, all post spoilers and stuff, please. Hang on. I can't go in the Chaos Theater, because I need a ticket. They were sold out of it. Maybe I need to talk to the guy in Berglund Park again? I don't know. He was, like, a kind of a mini-boss, basically. And he did give an idea of what to do. Hold up. And now he's gone. Or, he's in here. If you save Paula, be sure to come back here, okay? Don't forget. Okay, then. He's telling me I can get something. If I go all the way back there. That dude's selling a stop sign? Looks like it. Okay, then. Now, where's Orange Kid and Apple Kid? Their houses were... I think over there. Yeah, I see them. I see them. Go ahead, give him all the money. All the money. Wait, did Scott Pilgrim use the name Chaos Theater from this? I don't know, that sounds like a very generic name to be a reference. Greetings, I'm Orange Kid the Inventor. Have you heard of me? I'm a bit embarrassed about my reputation. I have a lot of inventions in development, but I'm running short of cash. I'm basically a happy-go-lucky person, so I'm not worried. You know, I'm working on this machine that would really help you in Peaceful Rest Valley. I hope it's ready soon. What? You're actually willing to help finance the project? Oh, goody. Would it be okay uh, to get $200 to buy materials? Sure. Thank you very much. Your support should have a tremendous impact in all mankind. Let me give you my new super orange machine. I call it, uh, Suporma for short. Ha, you have too many items. I hope you'll accept the Suporma even if you have to toss some of your food. Okay, then. Eat the hamburger. Hang on a second. What does the ruler do? Is it just like one of those useless items that kind of does damage in battle and breaks? You can use this during battle. Can be used many times. Okay. Can I get rid of the exit mouse? I don't really need this. Okay, then I can't. I don't want to get rid of the bear. I'm gonna give you my new super orange machine, Suporma, for short. Nescot Suporma. Use it for spreading peace and goodwill on Earth. Suporma Orange Kids Invention. The full name is Super Orange Machine. Use it. Suporma sang the song Ode to Orange Kid. As soon as it finished, the machine broke down. And now I have no don't have to worry about inventory anymore. I'm hard at work. Don't worry. My brilliant invention will be ready soon. Okay. Okay, I'll get back to work. Okay, so he's still making something for me, I guess. Turns out it was just made of oranges and it just fell apart because machines don't work like that. Seems like you're expecting something from me. Maybe you'd like to invest some money in my inventions. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, excuse me. I mean, thank you. By the way, I could really use $200. 
I mean, I like, I want $200 for free, too. We don't always get what we want. But in RPGs, I kind of have to. The rat's blocking the way. I'm a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. You took care of my master. In return, I want to give you this. Please take it and say nothing. Oh, thanks for getting us up there, Anuke. Appreciate that. Ness got receiver phone. Oh, I must be in your way. Zip. I'm a mouse. No one has given me a name. No problem here. No problem here. Maybe you shouldn't spend too much time wandering around Tucson. Uh, receiver phone, Apple Kids invention. Now you can receive important phone calls. This phone only receives calls. You cannot make outgoing calls from it. Okay, then. I feel like I should store some stuff. Um, hang on. How did I do that again? I have to use a phone for that, don't I? Was there a phone at the bus station? Yeah, there was. Picked up the receiver. I guess I could afford to just ditch the, the skip sandwich for now. Uh, pick up. They both sound like we're picking items up. But pick up is store. I'm keeping the bear. My dad called me earlier when I was going to Giant Step, though, remember? There he is. Hello, this is Escargo Express. Your delivery charge is $18. Cover the bill, right? What do you want me to take? Take up to three things. Um, take the skip sandwich. I don't really need the exit mouse. Um... I guess the ruler is for later. Assuming it's like Lloyd in Mother 1, where I need to wait for a better character to use it. Yes. Alright, certainly. Thanks a lot. Body, by the way, is the audio okay, everybody? I see we have some new people in here in uh, chat today. Hold up. Considering I plugged my, my Twitch at the end of that last video, I can see that we have, um... I got a bunch of follow notifications when I logged on this morning. Can't ride the bike with the bear. So... No, hang on. Before I go over there, I need to see if I miss anything in Tucson. Because I don't want to go all the way back. If I can't find what I'm looking for, I'll summon the help bear. Paula's not home yet. Ever a dread in Berglund Park might know something. Now I'm really worried. We already beat him. I don't think he says anything else. He said to just come back after I save Paula. What houses are left? Check over there. I am currently snowed in today. Like, it's supposed to just... We're supposed to just get lots of snow, um... All weekend here. And I woke up, the roads and, um... The sidewalks were just buried. I've told you a thousand times, I won't join the happy, happy religious group. If you get pushy, I'll pu pelt you with peanuts. Okay. What about this one? Meow. It's with the cat. I have a lot of old broken junk, but I hate to throw anything away. If you have a friend who's knowledgeable about mechanics, that person might be able to fix something for you overnight. Man, a friend like that would be handy. Well, I got a broken machine, but it said I needed a jack for it. Excellent. Let's see. I hope- only thing I- I hope is that the power doesn't go out. Otherwise, I'm just- I'm here to chill and stream all weekend. Let's do it. If you go to the east, you could run into trouble. Peaceful Rest Valley and Happy Happy Village are waiting for you. Heard there are UFOs in Peaceful Rest Valley. I hear a girl named Paula was kidnapped while helping out at the Polestar Preschool. Snow is still coming down, but the wind is blowing it around. A little while ago, it was blowing towards my window, and I could just hear it. It was loud. Butterfly. That guy is distressed over there. Or a bit, um, drunk. The cat looks straight out of Yume Niki. Well, Yume Niki's visuals did take inspiration from Earthbound, right? There's an entire dream world that's themed after Mother One. My daughter left for the big city to be a superstar. She's using a stage name. Vain, uh, Vain something. She's working hard. Wow, you don't even remember your daughter's username? Tisk, tisk, tisk. What's with the chair there? My mom knows my username. Here we go. 
Let me see. She actually knows how to pronounce it correctly, too. This one, if you're looking for Venus's house, it's next door. Great parenting. What about this one? Did I check this? Oh, it's the hint guy. Now, wait a minute, youngster. I could give you a great hint for $50. You'd like a hint, wouldn't you? You know what? I want to see if these are useful or actually useless. Before I, um... <laughs> Before I, uh, ask chat with the help, Teddy. I can spare $50. If you go east from the bus stop, you'll enter Peaceful Rest Valley. I knew that already. Keep going east, you'll come to Happy Happy Village. You should go there unless you have something better to do. But I thought I can't go there right now. All right, then. $50 says go east. Go east until I can't go east anymore, and then I'm probably gonna have to come back here. Fine, then. I'm taking my help there. <laughs> Let's go. Go east, where hopefully the hints will be cheaper. The record I'm doing what the game told me. I am doing what the game told me. Streamer has read the classic game. He didn't skip the dialogue and complain about getting lost. PSI magnet. He tries to take the mental power of my teddy. You won! 133. You got your bunny back from the vet? Uh, the vet? That's good. What did you say the issue was it on the server? I just remember you just saying you're picking up your bunny from the vet today. Hope that little friend's okay. Everyone's little pets. I know people got lots of pups and cats. Vampy has ferrets. Cross bridge to Happy Happy Village. Look, chat, I went east. Look at that. Oh, maybe if I if I yell east louder, the bridge will fix itself. No? No, I'll get $50, well spoken. Maybe for $50 I could have called a repairman. Cross bridge to Happy Happy Village. Yeah, let's get over here. <laughs> Bunny. The Phantom Hourglass method. Yes, just yell into the DS microphone until it works. You can't fix that. Actually, I don't have any- I don't have any, um, uh, food anymore, so maybe I should save my PP in case I need to use, uh, heal. Fifty dollars? I could buy a- I could buy a freaking couple indie games with that. I know, this game gets random without a guide, so I'll ask when I'm really stuck. Help there is when I need help, not when I wanna, uh, not when I wanna skip playing the game. There's more sprouts. There's a pencil statue. Excellent. There's a lot of RPGs back in the day. Like, like, um, if you're, if you're around my age, you probably didn't have, like, the internet and stuff. You either had, like, a random Prima Guide or Nintendo Power. But if you were stuck in a game, sometimes you were just stuck there for months, right? Let's do this. I remember in Link to the Past, it took me an eternity to get the uh, the flute. And I had the Game Boy Advance version, too. Enemy left a present. A croissant. Ooh, fancy. How much does it restore? Croissant. When eaten, you recover 60 HP. Okay. Probably eat it after a couple more hits. For some weird reason, a pencil-shaped iron statue is blocking the path. If I yell east at it, will it get out of the way? No? No east. Okay. A pencil statue was blocking stuff in Fool's Gold, and that one missing no cave, I think? And apparently in the Japanese version, it's a it's an octopus statue for some reason. So I don't think there's anything I can do here. I've got the receiver phone. If I'm supposed to get a call about something, it's not happening. Alrighty here. Ooh. Hmm. Let's go. 
I mean, back in the day, video games were straight up, like, made difficult, more difficult at times, just to, like, make them last longer. That is just a real thing. Teddy bear became fluff. I need to buy a new bear when I get back. Excellent. Dude, imagine playing Majora's Mask without a guide or the internet back in the day. I mean, to an extent, I did do that, but I don't think I finished it by, uh, until I was, like, a teenager. Alrighty. Well, more friends in the way. Can't use the bike in caves. Oh yeah, arcade games were also made harder to, you know, get more quarters in them. Arcade games used to do some really shady things to get people to, uh, pop more coins in. One of the most infamous examples is, like, Mortal Kombat 2, where the AI in that game literally cheats. It has a higher grab range, and it reacts frame 1 to your projectiles. You're basically playing a different game against them. Okay, I'll take that. And, um, I like the game Final Fight a lot, right? But... That game also has some funny stuff. When you're at low HP, every enemy is actually programmed to get a lot more aggressive and attack attack you more frequently. And I guess the guy who made the game, he literally calls it like coin insurance to make sure the, uh, we get that coin out of you. Man. Oh, Zelda 2 would be a nightmare as a kid without Nintendo power. I mean, I remember as a kid, for the longest time, I, I, for a good while, I couldn't figure out where to go in, like, Gen 1. Oh, the phone's going off. Hello, this is Apple Kid. I've just finished work on the great invention. Get over here as fast as you can. This thing is so cool. See you soon. Okay. So I guess I just had to go west after going east. The hint man didn't give me the, the extra, t uh, extra thing. Hold up. Bicycle. So what is the, the thing that activates that call? Is it coming out of the cave that way? Whistling. Look how happy I am. Hey, orange kid, what are you doing out here? Are you looking for that so-called genius apple kid? As a true genius, I'll tell you that he's in Berglund Park looking for you. Okay. What, no one's in here at all? The mouse is gone too. Okay. It might be the statue- oh! I was looking at chat, and I looked over and realized there's a drunk guy coming for me. The annoying old party man. Yes, he's a, he just wants to party. He just wants to party, everybody. He grumbled about today's youth. Let's get him. What was the impression back in the day, not knowing that this was obviously just a drunk guy, changed for the English version? Do they just, would kids just imagine, like, some dancing old man runs up to you and be like, Hey, kids, what's going on? And then he just starts grumbling and mumbling. Anyway. Berglund Park is up that way. Salesperson. Bicycle. The hint guy was basically telling me to check the statue. Of course he was. I'm whistling. Yeah. It's so funny how, how large the bike is, though. Anyways, did I see him? He's probably inside, uh, what's-his-face's house. Because he's not outside here. Dubbed anime in the 90s taught you that sake is tea. Well, I don't remember seeing a lot of that. But I can believe it. You save Paula, be sure to come back here, okay? Okay, I didn't see him. Maybe he's further down. Oh, there he is. I'm feeling really out of it because I've been working all night, but finally the pencil eraser is ready. This machine will eradicate all pencil-shaped figures in one second. It's incredibly powerful, just don't use it near a shop that sells pencils. Here, it's yours now. So, is this why they changed it in English? Because the in English it's pencil eraser, so in, uh, there's the Japanese word for octopus tie into a racer some way. If I invent some other brilliant item, I'll call you. I'm a mouse. My master Apple Kid has been waiting for you. We started to nod off while waiting. Yes, okay. Well, interesting. 
I went all the way. Um, you know what I could do? I could take out some money and buy another teddy bear and also stay the night at the hotel to replenish my stuff. What am I doing? Hang on. It's a pun in Japanese, so they change it like that, yeah. Look at me. What a big adventure, yes I am. Where's the hotel? Okay, next to the department store. The teddy bear cost how much again? Was it like, uh, 170? I think it was. It was a damn good teddy. Took some hits. No, get in there already, jeez. It was like 200-ish. Uh, right, I gotta talk to you. Welcome to Hotel Tucson. A night it will cost you $50, yes. Excellent. Ain't that comfy. The music is very cozy here. Hang on. Let me just take out just enough to buy the bear. Withdrawal. Let me see. Wait. Huh? Is that not... No, no, it didn't cost 160. It cost... It definitely cost like 170-ish, didn't it? What am I doing? Withdrawal. Just... I'll just take an even 200. Who cares? I'm overthinking it. Let me see here. Oh, thank you for gifting us up there, Keep. Appreciate it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, boy. Department store is right here. Let me just climb up. I need a drink here. I'm about to... Ugh. Cough a little bit. I probably should make a save at the black phone or something. Or the green phone. It only costs a dollar. Who cares? Now, it was up here, right? How may I help you? What can I get you? Don't want that. Hi, can I help you? Bye. Teddy bear is 178, yeah. Now I can't ride the bike with the bear. Let's go. Did I miss a hydrate earlier? Oops. Oops! My bad. Chat moving so fast. Hmm. Alright, let's get out here. Can't ride bikes with a bear. <clears throat> no, you can't. Okay, I think I'm good now. Jeez. Streamer just dies live on stream. Streamer didn't all streamer didn't go save either. Now you're gonna make me hydrate again? Well I guess I earned that. Hang on, what did he actually give me? Pencil eraser, right. All right, then, if there's a, a giant pencil statue, we'll erase it. Oof. I'll do a little stretch, too, since we're just holding right for a second. I'm hoping I can get the next party member today. Mother One had you with a single party member for a long time as well. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Tucson is, is based on the real town Tucson, right? But you spell it like T U S or sorry T U S C O N. Even I know how to pronounce Tucson. Oh, you mean Tuscan? My favorite American town, Tuscan. I wonder if people from Tucson hate when people do that. There we go. PSI magnet. Hook stuff. Whatever. Sprout, stop moving. Stop damaging the teddy. That was too much damage on the bear right there. 266, not bad. I don't think we have an emote for Teddy Ursa and medical equipment, but that would be cute. 
I need almost 2,000 for another level, so I shouldn't worry about it for now. Did I talk to you? Hum de hum hum. I'm hunting for mushrooms. I'm going to collect a ton. I'm gonna ignore that thing. Wait, I didn't talk to the mud damn mole either, did I? I'm not an enemy, I'm just a regular mole. Would you like to know about how to survive battles? Yes. You may have noticed that when you've been badly hurt, you may survive a mortal attack and have one HP, and this has happened. I was so focused on going east, I didn't check these. <laughs> it was because of your guts. Your survival may depend on your guts. Also, more guts helps you get smashing hits. Beyond guts, you should have noticed it takes some time for damage to be taken. This is because of the rolling action of your HP meter. I, oops, I, made your, I mean your life. If an enemy deals mortal damage, you, uh, but you defeat all enemies before your life is gone, you survive. This is all I know. Okay. Well, that works out there. I see a presence across the water. Music sounds threatening enough. All right. Pencil-shaped iron statues blocking the path. Ness used the pencil eraser. For some weird reason, the iron pencil statue was erased. That's good. Okay, before we go east, what about north? Ah. Uh, what's this? Oh, it's that guy. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say, Fuzzy Pickles. Me and my bear. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Alrighty then, that was fun. Is that all that's up there? I can see something up that way. All right. Don't mind me, just walking around with a teddy. Okay. These butterflies are more common than I thought. I should try and keep my uh, PP like a little bit under full, just so I can benefit from it and use some attacks. What is that pulsating diamond up there? Hang on. He originally tells you to say sand itch instead of fuzzy pickle. Wait, when you say original, do you mean the original release of uh, the Super Nintendo version? Because I remember that the Wii U and Switch releases had some stuff changed due to, like, some weird copyright issue. I don't recall. Japanese version, he says that. Okay. Okay, if that's the case, I'm going to use PSI Teddy. All right. This is Bell Sprout without a head. Yes, it is. I plan to play Mother 3, yes. I played Mother 1 last year, and I finally have time for this. But, uh, this is probably gonna be a long playthrough, so no big rush. Okay, diamond's coming. That UFO looks a little... Yeah, I guess we're fighting it. Please hit. Nighttime stuffiness? You tried... He just tried to give the teddy bear nighttime stuffiness. Wow, that's disgusting. How dare you? Fire to beam. Let's do it. The teddies are already stuffed, though. Yeah, but he gives them the sniffles. They'll become a cup chew. Oh, no. Unbelievable. Anyone who fires beams that make bears stuffy. Give him a stuffy nose, it's not good. Item up here. Travel charm. What's that do? Um must be equipped on your body. Protects you from paralysis. Uh hold up. I already have one on. I guess I could drop or sell that. Let's get these guys out of the way. I get stuffy easily, too, especially because it's snowing out. No! The bear is dead. It served its purpose quite well, though.
Uh oh, it took seven. Fantastic, then. You had stuffiness last night? Sorry to hear that. I actually swelled, uh, slept pr uh, decently well. Oh, he made me stuffy. That symbol's supposed to be a nose dripping, I see. Uh, uh, sorry, Nest sneezed. Okay. 489, damn. Am I still sneezing? I hope not. Yep, yeah, I am. Hold up, I have a cold remedy. Uh, not anymore, I don't. I stored that. Uh-oh. Oh, no, I'm taking poison damage, aren't I? Damn, there's like a frame of, of like a red flash there. Oh, this is fantastic. Just have to be careful. Poison damage from a cold? I know. Luck capsule. Hold up, what's that do? It increases your luck when taken. Um... Is it okay to just use this on Ness? I'd say. So I remember, like, it was best to save almost all of those items for, um, Ninten. You know what's really sad? I have, like, no money, so it'd be faster to just die in battle and warp back. Yeah, I'll just use it then, okay. Remember, using anything on Lloyd was kind of a frickin' waste. One? Oh, that's it, okay. See if I can avoid enemies. Wow, he gave up the last second. Amazing. I wonder who made the bridge impassable. Why would someone do this? Crud. Hang on, am I allowed to use the bike here, or is it only in town? Okay, I can. I'm not sh I see the downside of it. It, it. it gives you a very intentionally larger hitbox, so you can't use it in areas like this to avoid battles, right? I think that's what they're going for. Can't open the map here. Hang on. I'm hoping I can get to a town or something and heal. Everybody pulls their weight here. Good. From what I understand, the Switch version uh, tones down flashing effects compared to the OG, so... Oh! I can heal now. Hang on, I should be able to use PSI healing, right? Hang on, before I waste this, I will ask. Uh, I should put the bear on screen to keep the theme up. Uh, does healing heal colds? That's what I want to know. Because I don't want to waste the PP pee -pee right now. It does? Okay, good. You helped the bear, and now the bear is going away. Don't post help without the help arrow on screen. Or else. Here we go. Last time got a little too uh, backseaty, guys, so I don't want stuff spoiled while I try to figure it out. Oh, hang on. Ah, okay. The status screen. A weird place to put that. I see a house. Butterfly is pretty nice. I see another cave. There's a present over there I want. Uh-oh. Cup of life noodles. Uh-oh. They're stuck over there. That's good. Cup of life noodles revives a friend who is unconscious. In addition, it works well on poison, nausea, colds, sunstroke, falling asleep, uncontrollable crying, and feeling strange. What does feeling strange mean? Are we talking like mushrooms growing on your head strange or feeling strange as in I'm turning 30 and I don't know what I'm doing with my life strange? This is effective when you have paraly paralysis or you have been diamondized. Okay, that thing looks like it might diamondize me. Got real right there. Oh, hey, butterfly. Hold up. I'm at 18 out of 45. Like this. 
Can't help, no bear, you're tricking us. Okay. You know what I mean. There's a difference between, um, telling me what button does what, and, uh, someone posting, copy and pasting walkthrough paragraphs. There we go. No, wait, I can reach that house first, right? Probably should do that before I go in this cave. Oh. And how did I turn around? What? Uh, oh, this is bad. Spinning Robo, fire to beam, 21 damage to Ness. Oh, fantastic. That's what I want. Protected by a shield of light. It did not work. 105 damage to you. Protected by a shield of light. Okay, good. That finished him off. That's rough if he was smooth. Okay, I could probably one more and then I should heal. Gotta play it safe, because he could get a crit. Wait, life up only cost five? I thought life up cost ten. Oh, damn, I could have used that earlier. Shield disappeared. One more hit should kill it then. I think it has around 80 to 100 if I was keeping track earlier. 520. Damn. Status here. Wait, one experience for next level? Oh, give me a break. Give me a break. That's always insulting when that happens. Ah, fantastic. You're gonna get in the way no matter what I do now, so I suppose I'll have to take him out. Confront the spinning robo. Do this. Yeah, it's PSI Teddy that does so much. Oh, okay. Give me a cold. Ooh, that didn't do too much. It's different music. Protected by a shield of light. I did like a hundred something to it before, that must have been a crit. This is some funky music right here. This better be a good level up. Let's go. 297. Oh baby, offense went up by six. Oh baby, defense went up by three. Speed went up by one. Guts went up by two. Luck went up by two. HP went up by one. Okay. I'll take that massive buff to offense though. Damn, they're all gonna be in the way too. I may as well just heal up and... Wait, no, I don't have... I won't have enough to use a PSI Teddy. No, 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 no. Crap, he's coming towards me already. Fantastic. I didn't get a chance to open... What? Where did you come from? Oh, this is... They're gonna kill me. It's probably best they do that now anyway. I need more stuff. I don't know how close I was, but... Hmm. Hang on, what goods do I have? I could eat the croissants. Hmm. I did just level up as well. You know what? There could be a butterfly past them. I'm gonna go for it. Tried shield A. Great. Run away. Couldn't. Couldn't. He gave me a cold again. You're giving me stuffiness. Couldn't. Probably chance is low, because it technically entered into the red. But they're gonna kill me anyway. So let's just do it. I'll go buy a new teddy bear for the road. And I should be able to take out the grunts faster. I spent all my money before I came here, so I don't mind too much. Ness, looks like you got your head handed to you. Yeah. Luck. Ness returned from what? Literal death? Probably. 
Okay, we're back here. I have $11 in my pockets. I need 2,200. Let's go to the ATM. Hold that thought there, Adri. Or ADR. Account currently shows this. Just take that much. All right, let me get a drink right here. Holy moly. Is there official art of this game's teddy bear? I don't know. The mother games aren't nice at the beginning. So I've seen. Shout out to that graveyard. In the in Mother 1. Hint guy is there. Yeah, let's go by the bear. I love how the NPCs can just block the path with the traffic like that. <laughs> And the cars will run them down, because that's fun. Mm, pardon me. Pardon me. Holy moly. Ooh, it got a little funky there, didn't it? Hi, can I help you? Bye. What are you gonna buy? I'm by a bear. Oh. Right, I kind of forgot about that. I don't need another travel charm, right? Sure? No. I'm gonna buy the bear again. The bear will probably break along the way. I guess what I should do is also just, um... Hmm. Yeah, I guess I could store some items. Let's go ahead and just call this again. It's me, Tracy, working part-time. What can I do for you? I'll send someone over immediately to pick it up. Excellent. I have a backpack and everything, but it holds nothing. I think someone said earlier the best use of Lloyd in the first game is that he gives you an extra page of inventory space. Okay. Yep, here you go. You can have... Um... Okay. Quick question. I'll ask. Do I need the pencil eraser? For, like, ever? Because I feel like it's going to be, like, one of those ga one of those things I won't need for, like, six hours. Mmm... <laughs> should mainly keep key items in general. Okay. I can get it back later, but still. Hmm. That's the case, I'll just try and hang on to key items then. This is fine. Just give, let him take the noodles, that's all I care. Can't ride bike with a teddy. That's unfortunate. Oh, hang on. The bear is still there. Oop. Which side was it? Right, it's here. It's at the exit to town's at the bus station. The bear isn't moving. He's just kind of dragged along for the ride. Look at that teddy go. Look at that teddy bear run. Hang on a second. Yeah, the PP was pretty empty once I got sent back because I didn't heal at the hotel again, but that's okay. There'll be more butterflies along the way. We got Teddy Ursa with us right now. You're just in the way. We have to get rid of this. Okay. Damn, I still can't one-shot the sprouts? Come on now. I got an offense level up of six there. 133. The enemies over here are tough, and those little UFOs have a high evasion rate or something. Okay, let's pick up the big bears and try this again. 
Bridge is still down. Is the pencil statue still gonna be there, or is it permanently gone? Let's find out. Okay, good, it's permanently gone. Kinda hard to dodge enemies in these corners here. And it seems like they're not always in the same spots when I come back, so... If I can keep away from him... Oh, hang on, I need to get to that butterfly. I'll fight this one. Nice. Hit it before it deals a thing. It should die in one hit. That is some funky robo music right there. I like it. 297. Those are also some funky effects in the background, aren't they? Here we go. Well, so much for that. Another one right in... Yeah, showing right up. There were enemies everywhere a second ago. Well, the last time I was here, I pretty much had to death warp back to town because I was kind of stuck. Okay, we went up there last time. Aren't a whole lot of landmarks here, it feels like. Yeah, you go down here past the guy on the bridge. Hmm. I remember last time I was getting close to a house on the, the east side here. Wait, what? Dude, I keep accidentally turning around as I make contact. Oof, I'm a lumberjack now. The trees can brain shock you? They can brain shock your bears. <gasps> oh! What? The tree explodes into flames, does it? Cool. Cool, it does that. I'm surprised I lived. Well then. Uh, you know what? Let's, we need space. I'm gonna eat the croissants. Let's do that. Thank you, France. Oh, I guess it was worth it to get this. A bomb. Uh, let's see here. Okay, let's go over here. Let me take a look at this thing. Damages an enemy when used in battle because of its explosive power, it may affect others besides the target creature. Gone after one use. Okay. Normally... Oh, the bear's an active hitbox too? Come on. I just get out of there. I remember Lloyd was good for using that stuff, but it took up too much item space, so who cared? Hmm. <laughs> He's trying to shield. It's okay. He's wasting time attacking the teddy. Ah, nice damage. The vibes are not uwu. We don't know that. 297. Okay, I see that tree moving. I'm gonna mess with him. Um, I got 40 PP. Should be okay. I'm not stuffy. Need to cross this bridge. It was down, I think I went. We already got that present there, so we don't need to go by the tree. Oh, never mind. Gotta go the other way here. Ouch. Are you all comfy today? You better be. Okay, he's gonna speed at me. We'll have to get that. We'll have to take the initiative and get rid of him. Like I said, it can't go nowhere. It's snowy outside. I think once we switch games to Pikmin, I was gonna make some hot cocoa. Oh, the bear is dead. Missed. Why must teddies get destroyed? It's not fair. You're not sick anymore? That's good. Ugh. Ness got over a cold. Fantastic. Bro, he really chases for a bit, doesn't he? Um...
What's my max HP? Okay, good. I made it. I was worried I wasn't gonna, but I kind of had to. Uh-oh. Yeah, had to turn around. As long as I mash the button, I live, right? Because the battle will end before the explosion damage, like, takes effect. Play it safe here, though. I'm gonna do this. Brain shock. Did not work. 33 damage. Okay. So if you just... Is that the trick to dealing with the oak? You just mash the, the, the text button as soon as it explodes, and then you basically, like, survive with more HP. Does that mean playing on fast text speed is always the best option, simply because of that? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Pretty much. So playing on slow text speed is just literally asking to lose. Okay, we're back to where I was, and this time I'm like, I have another level. Wait, I can't go up that way? Damn it, I thought that's how I get down there. Alright, let's try looking around. Um, actually, hang on. Let me go ahead and just use a PSI life up and then grab that butterfly. Yeah, I know. You didn't want to kill the exploding tree. The last for that reason, too. That's what I figured. Oh, I have to go through the cave to reach the house. I understand now. Okay, I assumed there was a way down. Damn it, I should have just went in that cave in the first place earlier. Hang on. The butterfly respawns there. I'm at full PP right now anyway, so we're fine. Yeah, they can stay down there. Snake? Aren't these like Goombas? Yes, they are. Hey, this could have been a whole level up earlier, remember? I was near this cave, too, when it happened. Yay! Oh. Was I seriously this close to the damn town the whole time? I... I could have just, like, yeah, booked it. Instead, I got killed by that robot because I wanted to see the house. Damn. That sucks. Well, I got extra EXP from the whole excursion. I'm 73 to my next level, so we're fine. I am not your enemy. I'm just a plain old mole. You are certainly stronger than you were while wandering around Onet. Have you ever suddenly gotten the U1 message? Oh, that's why the snakes are there, to teach me this. When you met a weak enemy? That's a surefire proof that you've become stronger. You don't want to waste your time fighting wimpy enemies, do you? Okay. I appreciate how, like, they put the snakes in the cave just to actually demonstrate what that is before you see this. Because I find that something that, um... Uh, something that annoys me in a lot of RPGs these days is that, like, you ever just, like, you're playing and they give you, like, five pages of text as a tutorial and then you just, like, immediately forget everything because it's not relevant? They just kind of text dump on you and then expect you to remember everything instead of, like, sh like demonstrating it. Anyway, what's up with these people? One day, Mr. Car Painter received an, a revelation. He now speaks the real truth. Oh, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a fun town. Happy, happy. No problem here. I regret nothing. I got an extra level, and clearly in this game, I need it. Excuse me, tourist. I'm collecting donations to help protect the world from contaminants. Donate whatever you can. Yeah, here's, a. Uh... Go away. I'll be your shadow then. What? Go, go, go away! Go away! I think I lost her. She's stuck behind the house. Mr. Carpainter communicates with the Divine, so he is able to deliver inspired messages. Chat, if I, um... If I shot anybody in the head, do you think a parasitic leech monster would pop out of their neck? Oh! 
boy in blue there. I not sure doing friends in valley uh behind threed ding ding do i have a map here i do not no problem here is that a blue cow i'm just a plain old cow but mr carpenter's messages always move me very cute we're all like one big happy family in one hap in happy, happy village. Basically, our policy is to allow family members to stay here in the village. However, if you are not interested in learning about happy happyism, we may make an exception and let you stay for $50. Never have I heard such disrespect. Get out of my sight. Get out and stay out. Now puns. It's very blue in here. Dabba dee, dabba die, it's blue. Here we go. Alrighty, chat. Let's check the bandit friend down there. Psst. Yeah, overweight kid, help me. We kidnapped Paula. You know, she's hidden in a mountain cabin. Oh, oh, now I've done it. I thought you were one of us. You know, I was joking. Ah, just forget about this. Won't tell you anything. Okay, then. This town's a little bit weird. Mr. Carpenter wants a girl. No, I don't mean it like that. I damn well hope you don't mean it like that. <laughs> I meant he's looking for a girl who could be the high priestess of happy happyism. Heard she's already got her. All right. When I painted everything blue, as Mr. Carpenter said, my wife, who had run out on me, returned home. Well, you. No problem here. Though you may not believe it, I'm a healer. You got some illness, can't be treated. My job to cure you. Okay. Alrighty. Hope you're all feeling well today. I know that when I uploaded the first Earthbound VOD, I, it actually got like a ton more comments than usual. People seem to be excited for this playthrough. There we go. Blue, blue, dabba dee, dabba die. I'm blue. I'm not busy right now. Shall I explain the hospital system? This is a hospital? This is somebody's one-bedroom apartment. Blue, blue, blue. I can examine each of you for $35. No thanks. What would you think would happen if I walked into town with a copy of Pokemon Red version? Exec would I be executed on sight? You want to talk to Mr. Carpenter directly? You must think you're pretty important, and boy, do you have a lot of nerve. You deserve to be struck by lightning. Okay. Um. Get the feeling I'm not welcome inside of this house. Maybe that's just some social anxiety talking, but I don't know. I got a feeling. Can go around. Not really. Not really. One of them's gotta move. Blue, blue. What, I'm blocking you? Okay, I'll move. Thank you. Blue, blue, I say. Arm the torpedoes full speed ahead or something like that. Now I'll crush you. Okay, then. Okay, they got a tie. And I think I recognized this from something. Didn't they have to add, like, the little puffball to the end of their hats? What are they holding? A feather? What were they holding in the Japanese version? Insane cultist. Turn back to normal. You won. It's hold uh, they're holding a paintbrush. Okay. Blueberry cult. Well, I leveled up. That's good. That's not a great level up, unfortunately. Hold up. Um, fun fact. Uh, most of these guys are actually part of the background. That's how they're able to have so many sprites without it lagging. Oh, that's a cool trick. 
Blue, blue, don't bother us. We're in the middle of a prayer. Okay, I'll move out of your way. Blue, blue, I'll stand somewhere else. Lagoon, blue, blue. No problem. Blue, blue, blue. Blue, blue, don't disrupt our meeting or I'll stomp you. Yeah, that's a paint bucket he's got in his hand. Let's get him. Uh oh, he called for backup. Paint attack. Do you know how I'm making them see the truth here, chat? I whack them hard enough with my baseball bat that they start seeing red from the blood splatter. And then they're like, wait a second, there's more to life than blue, and then they die. Wait, that was worth 700? Damn. Ah, oh, nothing that way. What about... What, are you saying I'm only capable of walking in place? That's not true, see? Green, green. Oops, that's not it. I'm still new at this. There's a skip sandwich. What am I looking at for space? Okay, I'm good. Yeah, they start. it starts to lag when I see um, the, one, the moving ones over there. Blue, blue. Hey, you, anti-blue boy. You're getting on my nerves. Paint attack. He threw paint at me. He called for help. Oh, no. Am I homesick? It said Ness thought about his mom. Great. I'll have to take them out with psychokinetic teddy blasts. Ugh. Great. Oh, this is great. They're gonna, they're gonna kill me now. They're gonna kill me. Great! What a- what a perfect time to get homesick. What a perfect time for that to happen. <laughs> Great, am I going back to Tucson now? I think I am. Yeah. Alright, that's fine. Let me just, uh... Picked up the receiver. Let's make a quick save and call mom. 1987. Aha, that was a year. Horde. I didn't even get a chance to go and heal yet. I thought it would be safe in there, but then the homesick happened. Okay. Whatever. We'll get another level along the way. Oh, Mom. No, no, it's just teasing. I wanted to see if my new impression would fool you. Everyone here is doing fine. Puff, hope you're doing all right, too. Well, better go. I'm in the middle of dance aerobics. Bye. And I may as well spend the night at the hotel. Just so I can refill the PP as I leave. Takes too long to get a bear. I'm just gonna ride the bike. Just take out 40, because it costs 50. It'll be easy to get back there, don't worry. I'm a little annoyed, because I was doing well in the blue room. I thought it'd be safe there. It didn't say he got over homesick. Uh, wait. You're right, did that work? Let me see. So what am I doing? You don't get homesick anymore if you die. Oh, is that how it works? I mean, if I died too, I wouldn't be thinking about thinking about that. Can't confirm though. Never been dead. Alrighty, let's go on a bike ride, chat. I've become a giant. Look at me go. Earthbound teaches us how things work. I own these streets. Wow, I'm too strong for mushrooms, too. Ness really resists the urge there. I'm already at full. I really didn't need to do this. 
I'm gonna look for a hotel as soon as I get back, but... Oh, right. Again, I don't mind too much, because I clearly got the levels by doing this. Dying cures a lot of status problems. True. Works that way in Pokemon, too. If you faint, your status condition disappears. Let's use some of this. Just think of this as a little bit of uh, extra grinding. Don't think of it as a streamer getting sent back because he died. Getting stronger. Stronger! Now, if I could hit the opponent, that'd be fantastic. 266. Me, going for a run. More content, hell yes. For a little ride. It's all just RNG manipulation. Yeah, sure, we can say that. They're gonna chase me and hit my back as soon as I do this. Only one showed up. I'm like one level away from one-shotting these things. They gotta have around, um... 70-something. This place was originally called Grateful Dead Valley after the band. Do you mean the Japanese version, or do you mean, like, the original American release? Again, I don't know what, what has been changed on the Wii U and uh, Switch versions, but I know they did have to change some things when they re-released this game again. Let's see, Japanese? Okay. That other sprout was up a cliff. Gotta be careful of those trees. Yeah, I see it. I don't want to deal with that tree. Oh, I have to go that way. No, that's a present. Oh, it's up here I go. Right. Not enough landmarks. I'm gonna take him out. This place is the difficulty spike of Earthbound. I remember, like, Mother 1 had some weird enemies that really messed me up. Let me see here. Um, remember those grizzly bears in the mountain in Mother 1? That's just like when you take them out, they just decide like, hey, the grizzly bear punches you and it does like a crap ton of damage. That was really silly. Bears are not friends in that game, apparently. And then you get like the... You get Anna as a party member, and you have, like, no... And she's at level one, and you just have to take forever. The Mount Itui bears, yeah. The evil blue bears. Yes, I, Teddy. I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure Paula will be low level. I'll heal her up. If a bear punched me, you'd take a lot of damage, too, yeah. Can confirm, bears would hurt. Seventy damage. I think a bunch of sprites actually had to be changed in um Mother One's English version because like they were too close to peanuts. Which I know that like Mother One originally took a lot of inspiration from that visual. Okay, we'll take this. Now did we go over here? Is there a present or something I can pick up this way? Yeah, I, okay. A hard hat. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, yes, this was worth it. That's a pretty significant increase in defense right there. I didn't put it on, right? Okay, I was worried I didn't for a sec. I thought it might be a good idea to look around the extra areas now that I'm back and stronger. Right, okay, we go down here. This actually isn't that long of a trek. I feel like I the first time I was here, there was a ton of enemies, though, and now there's not. Let's leave the UFO. Nine defense is a lot when you're already in the 20s for that. Ugh. Shimagami Tensei had two demons based off of Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck in a Disneyland ripoff. They had to get massively changed. I heard something about that. Doesn't SMT1 not have an English release, though? I thought you had to- you could only get that through, uh, 
fan translations or something. Okay, I'm gonna... I learned my lesson. I'm gonna go to hotel first. I don't have a map, though. Talking to people is fun. I heard many footprints exist deep down in the East Cave. People call that place uh, Lilliput Steps, and it makes them feel uneasy. On, there's one on iOS. Really? An official USA release locked behind an old iOS model. Dude. Man. <laughs> Why are so many weird games locked behind crap like that? Like, they tell- they, they, Remember when they taught of that stuff as the future? And it's like the first, like, first major thing that just has all its software left behind. Ugh, alright, I'm getting a drink and stretching. Did you guys know that there's actually a, a, an old lost uh, phone port of Resident Evil 4 you can play? I think you can, like, set up an emulator for that now, but... Man. That makes me wish we had, like, an official 3DS port of, of Resident Evil 4. I would've loved that. Blue, blue. I wish for everything in this world to become blue. Maybe if I could set that up, I should do a playthrough of it, because I'm kind of curious about it. A phone port of RE4, yeah. It, th it That's a real thing. I don't know how much is cut, but the graphics look like... Th they do look like they'd be around 3DS-looking graphics, yeah. All of our products are blessed. Blue Blue Drugstore. Okay, but where's a, where's a hotel? That's what I'm looking for. Your brother played that a lot on his iPod. Oof, iPod, that, that's a term that takes me back. Okay. That's the big blue house. Hmm. The hotel was that family place, right? Yeah, I think you're right. I did already go to it, didn't I? This house is red. Not sure. Boing. Down here? It's like $50, I think. Chat, what other, like, crappy phone ports do you guys know about? One big happy family, policy is blah 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 blah. Oh, I only have fifth I only have two dollars on me, damn it. I need an ATM. <sighs> this is becoming a pain in the ass just to heal, goddammit. The drugstore is at the other end of the damn town. Maybe they have a new equipment for me to buy as well. That could be worth it. Information on the back of Refreshing Herb reads as follows. If you catch a cold or you're ill, or if you can't seem to heal, you're poisoned or you're depressed, a Refreshing Herb is the real deal. Oh yeah, you know, just grab a Refreshing Herb. That'll cheer you right up. Make sure you just uh, roll it up the right way, though. Seems pretty iffy, but you should give it a try. I don't know. I don't, I don't have none of that. Withdrawal... Um, let me just take out 300 for a second and see what they're selling. As long as I have 50 for the die. Oh, wait, I can use the bike in town. Why am I not using that? Okay. Sandlot bat. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna upgrade. So the Holmes hat isn't as good as the hard hat I just found. This is clearly for Paula. Copper bracelet, frying pan. Frying pan is for Paula more than likely, yeah. Let's buy this. Oh. Um. I never use these, to be honest. I'm gonna sell it. <laughs> Maybe that's dumb and it's overpowered in this game, but I'm doing it. Sandlot bat and sell my other one. Yes. Seven offense. Nice, I'll take it. Anything else? Copper bracelets. Let me just take out a hundred more dollars so I can go to the ho a hotel after. Selling a bomb at a drugstore. Don't question it. Do this. I worked hard for my money. I can spend it on whatever I want. Clearly, I should have upgraded as fast as possible. Yes. Okay, five defense. That's that's fair enough. I'll take it. Um, don't need the Holmes hat. Let's check the main stuff. Lucky sandwich, cup of coffee, cold remedy. Okay, that's fine. 
I suppose I could make a save here quick as well. Maybe call mom as well. Uh, genuine question. Did I sell the old hat? I actually think I didn't. I'll do that in a second, but hang on. I have a question. I have a question. Uh, in, in regards to homesickness, how does that work? Is there like a hidden meter that's filling up in the background that I can't see and talking to mom will fix it? Or do I have to wait until the symptoms of homesickness show before I can get rid of it? It's completely random. Really. So I could just like take two steps out of my house and I randomly just like wish I could see mom. Damn. Damn. Random chance, but I think talking to mom delays the rolls. Hmm. I got it really, really early. Really, so I was actually unlucky when that happened. Man, I should have played it safe and like looked for a heal and all that when I first got to this town, but... I felt like I was so powerful, and I was, but the homesickness kicked in at the worst possible minute. I didn't account for it. Anyways. I'll just spend money on this phone. Let's do it. Just picked up the phone. Call mom. Don't say a word. I know exactly what you're thinking. My son, who would have thought he was such a brave kid? Oh yeah, you're a hero, honey. Click, beep, beep. Excellent. Okay, now we're gonna go stay at the hotel down over here. Homesickness shows as a status on the status page, right? But is there like a meter for it is what I mean. Either way, we seem to be fine. There we go. I thought as a kid I would get majorly homesick when I got older. But then when, like, I lived away from, like, everyone I knew for, like, college for, like, a couple semesters, I found that I managed my, uh, pretty well on my own. Let me see here. Let me see. Very well, be sure to do your blue blue chant before bedtime. I think my mom was more, uh, missing me, though. Because she made me, she made me call, like, every night, because I had never been, like, away remember that long. Mom overprotective. Let me see. Homesickness is a cool concept, but it feels just annoying to deal with here. Yeah. I see what you mean. Makes it, like, feel nice. Like, it, it's a cool detail, but it seems like it can just get really annoying. It feels like one of those random status conditions or effects or events you'd get if you were playing, like, um, a roguelike. That makes sense. Anyways, I'm safe to explore and talk to people now. We trust you. Feel free to shop here. What would you like to buy? Banana. Fresh egg. Bananas and eggs. Okay. I heard many footprints exist. Yeah, we talked to this one. Let me see here. I think those who won't paint everything blue are opposed to peace. I want them all to listen, even if it requires kicking their butts. Okay! There's a place ahead that can't be painted blue. It's a strange anti-blue place. I can't stop thinking about it. I can't even go near the place. There's a north cave and a cave there. I think what I want to do first, actually, is take out the big room, now that I've made my saves. I've gotten powerful enough to deal with it anyway, I think. But what's in here? We wanted to join the happy, happy religious group. We're a married couple from Tucson. Our child is waiting for us in Tucson. As a souvenir, we'd like to bring him some happiness. You might misunderstand what I have to say, but car painter's voice affects one's minds like a hypnotist. You don't seem to understand, so I'll explain it to you. When the world has changed to blue, a peaceful country can be established. Do you understand? No. Nah. Although you don't understand now, someday you will. I can tell by your face you're only pretending to understand. You just want something. This is the famous Happy Happyism Counseling Office. When you, when you obtain happiness, you should visit the Happy Happyism Headquarters. It's located at the center of the village. Oh, that's where I got killed. Let's do it again. Oh, 
And we see the blue guys running around. Ah! I got stuck in the corner. Get out of the way! Oh, God. Come on. She's blocking the door! Whatever. Utilize... Wow, he's only doing two to me. Oh, I didn't sell the, the hat. I feel like I should go sell the hat. Just bite the bullet, even if it's inconvenient. That's a ton of EXP for one dude. I feel like I've heard this music in lots of YouTube videos. I say that a lot for Mother 1 and Earthbound, but it's true. And I'm still not using the bike. What the hell's wrong with me? <laughs> Sell... Mr. Baseball Cap. I don't need this anymore. $99. Sure. Excellent. Another blue boy down there. Let's have a look inside this thing. Oh, they're all reset, did they? Let's see if I can remember. Uh, was it down here? Go quickly. Doesn't seem like I can get at that one, can I? Then give up what you're doing and go meet the great Mr. Car Painter as soon as possible. Croissant! Hell yeah, I'll take a croissant. No problem here. I think it was... Yeah, these guys. Blue, blue, lagoon, blue. This one, right? What, are you saying that I'm only capable of walking in place? That's not true, see? Green, green. Oops, that's not it. Still new at this. Game is lagging massively here. Blue, blue. Hey, you anti-blue boy, you're getting on my nerves. Oh, boy. Ooh. Got a critical hit right there. Croissant. Excellent. No problem here. Oh, wait, what? This wasn't... Th oh, that wasn't it. Thought for sure. Must be here then, right? Blue, blue, I'm trying to learn how to whistle. I heard that whistling makes one smile. I'll practice over here. Blue, blue, you strange unmasked fellow, don't go to heaven. Uh-oh. I think I'm level 18, yeah. This... They do, like, no damage to me. Upgrade. Getting the level up and finding the hard hat was sick. Oh, now I'm 18, yep. He told me to go to hell. My IQ went up by one. Luck went up by one. Uh... PSI Flash. Let's take a look at that one. It generates a strong flash, can make the enemy start crying uncontrollably, and some circumstances feel strange. Uh... What kind of flash are we talking there with that description? Blue, blue, you can't be happy unless you know happy happyism. Blue, blue, this should wake you up. Ah! Okay. The thing about using debuffs in RPGs is that they're either overpowered or they're useless. There's no in-between. So, I never know what games have, like, good debuffs or not, right? <laughs> Take it out. Especially, like, lots of games that have, like, bosses completely immune to all debuffs, so it's just like, eh. Flash can actually just kill bosses at higher levels, really, so it does work good. That's just a thing, because, like, normally you try to use a status condition, and it's like, uh, oops, sorry, it only hits 10% of the time. And it only lasts for two turns, so you just wasted all your time. Hey, look, I made it. I.e., I screamed, because I didn't know what else to do. I mean, fair enough. Sometimes I do that, too. That's a funky-looking statue right there. Am I ready for a throwdown? I did just level up, didn't I? 
Why not? Thanks for coming. I've been waiting for you. I need your assistance to help make the world blue and change it into a happy, peaceful society. Will you be my right hand assistant? No. If you don't want to be my right hand, my left would be just fine. Just kidding. Your existence is a problem for me and my religion. Defy me. I'll end your pitiful game. Oh. Yo, know, what the hell happened? Am I alive? I still got my money. My stuff. Did he murder me? <laughs> Hang on, I think I have max PP anyway. That lady did say I deserve to be struck by lightning. Well then. I could check out the caves for now. Maybe if I say yes, it activates a battle, but I'm not sure, so I'll check the caves. We're gonna make these blue boys black and blue when we're done. Called for help. These guys are, like, more dork- more dorky than, like, an evil team in Pokemon. We're so happy. We're so happy. So happy we need to attack everyone. This is gonna give some XP. Ooh. Nice. You know what? We'll fight you too. Come on. The more the merrier. Come over here. I'll show you how to be happy. Crack a smile as I crack the bat across your face. Excellent. Ain't that nice. There's two caves. Let's look at the anti-blue cave first. Now, chat, I know that if you're watching this on the VOD channel, it is Picaspri Blue, but I'd just like to m mention right quick that I am not associated with these blue boys here. Mole is hang on to the mole playing rough. The mole's playing rough. Take it out. Chawed at his sharp nails. Oh, that hurts. Racked it across that. Sometimes these wild animals gotta go. Just a happy coincidence. Is that a bear? It's a bear. Look, it's trying to probably kill me, but I'd like to think it wants to play with me. There's teddies. This town has everything. Oh, even even dead bodies. Wow, it gets greater. No problem here. Well, yeah, no problem for me to solve, at least. That's a police problem down there. Bears playing and killing are the same thing. Teddy Ursa would never. Don't insinuate that. How could you? Batty B. Batty A. Let's do that. Bash it. He's dodging. Six hundred for these, jeez. I feel like they're giving me a ton of experience for enemies that take like two, three hits, but I shouldn't complain. I want those levels. I feel like if you get a couple levels, the enemies in the current area just kind of like become meaningless. Excellent. I'll do this. I should use the croissant now. I do want to, um... Play a lot. Uh, there's a lot of indie games I haven't played simply because I haven't played Earthbound yet. Hmm. I did mention the possibility of playing Undertale, but I, I feel like that one will probably be an off-stream recording, because trying to do that one live would be not a good idea. Let me see. It's too well-known and would be backseat hell. Let's be real. Let's see. Great charm. Do not do that live. Do not. Do not. 
<laughs> yeah. Sometimes for even for games like this, you know, I gotta, I gotta, gotta put my foot down and be like, guys, take it easy. I know you want to help. Like, I know that's the thing. I know people don't like aren't trying to backseat to be rude. They're just really excited to like, you know, share their knowledge of something they like. But at the same time, it kind of makes it like hard for someone to enjoy it for the first time if that's happening, right? Excellent. Great charm. Let me check what this does. Must be equipped on your body. Protects you from paralysis attacks, adds a bit of speed. So I guess it's better than the Traveler Charm. Only one defense on it. It's better than nothing. Why not? And I guess it gets speed for it too. Let's see. No, oh, you're fine with Rune Factory 3. Speaking of which, I'd love to record some more of that. But uh, I'm still having an issue because some guy just decided to copyright claim the whole soundtrack so I can't upload the next VOD. Like, it is actually a pain in the ass with that. When I can figure something out, I'd like to continue it. At this point, it's been like almost two months since the last VOD, though, so I'm a little pissy. Ooh, 23 HP? I'll take that. I'll take that. Hello, friend. Thank you. I enjoyed making the video, too. The bear is down there. Let me take a look at this. 3,500. The max HP upgrade is very welcome here. Fight them all. Smash. Just missed. Mole became tame. Hell yes. Let's have a look over here. There's a croissant inside. Look at how happy the bear is. Do you think the bears are the reason there's skeletons here, though? I'm a little worried about that. Teddies would never. I think it's just the cult outside. Maybe it's their fault. Chat, I was playing Elden Ring the other day, continuing that, and I found a cave that has a bear as a boss at the end, and I did not like having to kill it. Why can't bears be friends? Instead, murder bears are just everywhere in Elden Ring. Let's do it. Rune bears are brutal. Yes, they are. Rolling? What's that? Look how goofy he is. He wants a hug. The mighty bear. Sorry, Teddy. We gotta fight. Missed. The bear is dead. He learned his lesson. He won't mess with me anymore. Excellent. Actually, I did mention um one Earthbound like game that I did play last year before I started Mother One. You guys know that indie game off? I did stream that like last spring, I believe, or was it last summer? Either way, that was a trippy game I enjoyed a lot. I talked I believe I talked during that stream about starting the Mother Trilogy. Excellent. I did get through a lot of games last year that I wanted to, but there's still a lot more, and I wanted to get even more... Yeah. Play even more stuff for the first time this year. That's why we're starting this. This is going to be the year I get stuff done. You see. You like that playthrough? Well, that's good. I enjoyed it. 49 HP. That's a lot of friends right there, and they're all coming for me. Oh, the bear respawned up there, too. Let's see. Mole playing rough. Hit him with that teddy flash. If we show him teddy or so, he'll be a good bear. I'll PSI again. Take them both out. The mole became tame. Okay, I'm gonna need to heal now. 1065. I'm already close to another level up, damn. 
Am I? I feel like I'm under leveled for this cave, but the area before, like, I had started killing things by walking into them. Like the sprouts. Um, hang on. I can go ahead and use life up here. I'm sure things will get weirder once I have, um, more party members. Let's do it. Let's do it. Crawl, clawed up those sharp nails. Oof. Take him out! There we go. I feel intent to play a lot of new games this year. Um, I, listen, I get, I get it, take a drink because I'm mentioning this again, but I, um... I put down a lot of games last year because, like, when I had, like, that injury, I just kind of, like, was messed up for a bit and didn't want to continue a lot. Let me see. Or rather, didn't want to start a lot, I should say. Not like I dropped a bunch of playthroughs. Let's fight the bear. Fight the bear and get a level up. The mighty bear. Towards the end of the year, I did have to, uh, start some stuff again, though. I had a lot of fun with it. Okay, just missed. We're good. Mighty Bear became tame. 609, level 20. Oh, baby! Off went, offense went up by 6. Speed 2, guts. I didn't get any defense this level. 1 HP. That. Oh, I'll take that. I'll take that. Life up beta. Okay, nice. Excellent. This over here. Uh, checking my status. I need 4,200. Probably should use another life up here. This one cost 8. Does this one heal me? Yeah, alpha still gives me to full health mostly time, so I don't need to worry too much. Yeah, this is the second Earthbound stream. I, um, uploaded the first one to the VOD channel already. Uh, let's use PS... I uh, Teddy. Remember, when I summon PSI Teddy, just a psychic vision of Teddy Ursa just slashes them. Like it's my freaking stand or persona. i do it again. Hit the bat with a bat. You don't tell me what to do. You don't tell me what to do. I'll use psychic teddy bears. You win! 1,000 right there. Okay, I'll fight these two. You redeemed a stretch? You do tell me what to do. Okay then, fancy pants. I will stretch. Stretching is good. You two viewers, whether you're watching along on, while live or watching a... Uh, bleh. A bleh. Yeah. Or watch it on YouTube later. Let's do it. Back to normal. Okay. You backed off. Uh-oh. Ness is finally able to move again. Friendly and affectionate. Not good. Ninety-three. You won. You won. How long have I been... Okay, I didn't realize it was already going so long. Time is really flying by playing this. That's good. I'm having a good time with this. There's a PSI caramel inside. That for restoring PP? Replenishes 20 PP. Okay, um... I could probably use it right now, because it doesn't seem like there's really butterflies around here. And I need space anyway. Oh, it gave me 18. That's fine. Um, do I have anything to restore? Nah. I'll fight them. Mighty Bear and its cohort. You know what? I'll try PSI Flash. It did not work on Bear. It did not work on Batty. All right, then. The RPG experience, everybody. Mr. Batty. Let's take him out. A 
Okay, Mr. Batty's gone. The bear is trying to bite me. Why does the bear look so goofy while attacking me? Hey there, kids! I'm gonna come over here and kill ya! <laughs> Smokey the bear tells you to n prevent forest fires. Uh, this bear looks like he's the one that causes them. Not out of malice, but out of pure neglect. Okay. Do that. There we go. Oh, there's a thing right here. Oh wait, what happened? What did Cringe do? <laughs> Were they ju you just making a joke there? Hang on. I'm gonna crack the mole. Okay, there we go. Okay, it was just a joke in chat. I was, like, scrolling and looking by here. Now, um, hold up a second. Hmm. I think I should get another level and then go fight whatever that boss is. Or try to fight the boss. There we go, it's fine, chat. No, it's good, it's good. I'm going to get hit here, and I'm going to recover right, right quick. Everything is good. Everything is good. No, 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 no one in chat's in trouble. It's just everyone, they're just making a joke about getting banned. It's not a real ban, chat. Don't worry. It's not like that person that was in, uh, for here for Pokemon the other day. Where they showed up and immediately was were mad that I weren't, like, uh, reading all their chat messages. <laughs> that was a different thing. Excellent. By the way, chat, I hope I didn't complain about that too much the other day. I just thought that was really stupid, so I was kind of stuck on that for a bit, wasn't I? Okay, hang on. Whoa! What, what do you mean Ness is craving cookies? I'm craving life right now. Let's not let's not get killed by the bear. Oh boy. I'll be mad if you don't read this. Uh-oh. Chat's pressuring me now. Was that homesickness? I'm homes I got homesick right before a boss. Are you serious? I need to leave. I need to leave. Excellent. It's a 1.17% chance of this hat bap. Are you serious? Really? Is it that bad? Wow. Like a 3 out of 256 chance. Um... I guess I'm gonna have to leave. I can't fight the boss while homesick. Uh, how did I get out of here again? Uh, at your current level... It's, uh, between level 16 and 30. It's 3 out of 56, or sorry, 3 out of 256, aka 1.17% chance. I'm getting homesick a lot more than you when you played this, damn. What game gives the most issues with chat? Um, uh, well, it used to be a lot worse on some games. Ah, darn it, I tried to turn back to him. Yu-Gi-Oh! was very backseaty until I started just telling people straight up no. It might be better to death warp. Let's just fight. Banjo Kazooie was bad. Ah, yeah, but I kind of want to play that game again anyway. I'll be fine. Some people are a little too over eager to help. Just missed. Let's do it. That's a lot right there. Dad's gonna give me a crap ton of cash. Yes, he is. Hang on. I don't want to lose all my money, so I can just try and heal and see if I can get to the end by cracking regular enemies. Excellent. Ness lost all motivation to battle? <laughs> what is that status condition? Imagine if the streamer was like, hey, guys, sorry, hang on. Controller's down. 
I don't want to play anymore. Right not. You want to fix that? Oh, sorry, my motivation stat's down. If only someone would just, like, gift a sub or something. Oh, no, I can't go on. Sorry, guys. Turn wasted. Turn wasted. Streamer lost motivation. Oh, wait, no, it's back. New turn, new me. <laughs> Ness is just holding his bat there and being like, yeah, I, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to fight bears with this baseball bat. Stop gifting a sub. Stop gifting subs. Don't play into the joke. Now I have to be motivated out of peer pressure. Subs have been inserted. Now it's time to continue playing the game. How many... T when does it roll for homesickness? Is it like every battle? Or every turn? Ness thought about mom. Ness attacks. Now this one isn't my fault. <laughs> every time you win a battle, it rolls for it. Okay, cool. Croissant. Take it. Wiki says every battle. Okay. Well, we reached the exit. I need to go call mom. What if you wanted to fight the boss, but your character was like, I don't, I don't wanna. Uh, right. First, let's go to the phone, because there isn't a phone at that place down there. It's in the drugstore. I tried looking at chat while moving towards the door, and I got stuck in the corner. <laughs> Oops. Hello, Ness. What's wrong? You sound sad. Are you homesick? Well, I knew there would be days like this. It must make you feel better listening to your mom's voice. So do you feel any better? Well, I better get going. I'm in the middle of my ironing. Bye bye Ness got over being homesick. Damn right he did. Call dad, too. What a weird mechanic. Woo! Thank you, dad. I'm gonna spend it all on Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Your old dad was take hitting the hay right there. Good night. Now let's go restore my PP by taking the sleep at the blue house. That much money will buy you half a deck. Hell yeah. Like this guy. He gave him my gotcha gave you gotcha money. The only way that dad would cut me off of money if it, as if I told him I was going to spend it all on Genshin Impact or something. There we go. Sorry, son, but I'm afraid dad's money is officially closed. <laughs> Boy. It was this house, I think. We're all like one big happy family here. Not on Genshin Impact. Oh, no. $2,000? That's enough for a whole day of Genshin. Yeah. Okay. We're healed up. Now let's go down here. You're gonna get in the way. Let's do it. Paint attack. Man, they don't do anything to me. Enemy left a present. A PSI caramel. Oh, damn it. Uh. <sighs> kind of wish I could eat the skip sandwich right now. To try it. You know what? I can just use PSI. Do this. I want to try the skip sandwich now. Gives you a spring in your step for 10 seconds. 10 seconds? Okay. That doesn't sound very great. There, it's gone. What a great inventory slot. Uh, Itoi's daughter was born around this time, so a lot of the mechanics have to deal with dad always working and missing family stuff. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Three oh four. Get ten seconds of boosted speed after eating Subway. 
Just give me some chocolate. Ooh. Sometimes you gotta get away. When running is locked behind a consumable item. Yeah, what a decision that is. Probably use it to avoid enemies more than anything else. Yeah, it's better to think of it like that. But even then, it's not a guarantee. Better yet, they should have made, like... If it's gonna last 10 seconds, it should just be, like, an invisibility potion that lets you just walk through mobs. I don't know. The mole is down. I feel like you could make an entire home safety hotline spinoff of just earthbound enemies. Wouldn't that be funny? Imagine you get a call and someone's just like, Why is there this goofy bear in my backyard? It looks like he wants to kill me. Oh god, he's sharpening his claws. Okay, Mr. Batty. The mighty bear is attacking. Hey, you kids, it's your friend, Mr. Bear. Why does his, his mouth look like it has that, like, toothless, like, puppet face? The one that looks like it's going to kill you. He has no teeth to bite. I'm dying. Why won't, why, why is it not dead yet? Twenty-two. Defense went up by one. Vitality went up by one. Twelve HP. Ooh, PSI Teddy Beta. It's actually a fursuit. Oh, is it just a guy walking around in a Muppet, to uh, Muppet suit? It's a gummy bear, perhaps. I didn't put my money away, but I kind of don't care because I'm going to get more anyway. Hold up. This one costs 14. That's uh, quite a difference in power. 180 up from 50. Damn. Hmm. What's the recovery difference on this? 100, 300 to one person. Okay. It doesn't cost three times as much PP, so that's good. Assist. Hang on. I never really use these because, I mean, I suppose I could, I should just be using this on Ness when I enter the boss fight. But most of the time, the battles are so short, it's just kind of a waste to bother with it, right? Reduce the damage caused by an enemy's attack by 50 using different shield will cancel these effects. Chat, I, I, this is going to sound weird, but I just realized something. You know what the text re font reminds me of? I have I couldn't put my finger on it for a while. You know what it looks like? It's, uh, like the color, the, the, the box, the background. It reminds me of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Like, it looks like the exact same, like, text boxes from that, doesn't it? Tell me, like, look at it and tell me. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> is it the exact same font? I think it is. Can't unsee it now. Yes, yes, it totally does. I it's pink because I used the strawberry icon, yeah. I feel like I wanna like compare compare if it's the exact same font, but it looks it looks the same. Okay then. Hold up, HP is like that. I should probably just use life up right quick. Let's fight. All right, let's attack the bat. Just missed. Just missed. If I get homesick when I go to the boss again, I'm gonna be a little upset. And by a little upset, I mean I'm gonna get angry. The streamer is gonna say, heck. I'll even play- I'll even stay up late tonight playing Shadow the Hedgehog. Jar of hot sauce. Uh, is that hot sauce or is that like Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, hot sauce? Quotation marks. He's gonna be so angy. 
Jar of hot sauce to use sprinkle over food. A good combination increases strength of your recovery. I, can I use it on the caramel, maybe? Uh, I'm gonna have to use another heal. Where's that damn fourth Chaos Emerald? Excellent. Mighty Bear clawed me. Attack the bear. I don't like having to attack bears, for the record. Bears are supposed to be friends, but these ones are probably secretly serial killers. Well, there's no secretly, because there's a bunch of skeletons here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. 609. Let's go. Let's go up here. Let's go up! You exchange Mr. Batty. Sorry, bleh. Encountered Mr. Batty. Did I get homesick? What? Did it say that? Oh my god. Alright, let's go back. Let's go back, everybody. Can't... Oh great, they're blocking the way. You know what? Just death warp me out of here. Let's just use PSI Teddy. Bears attacking. Missed. Missed. The bears are in the way. I have to get rid of them. Hang on. You know what? Maybe I should just YOLO the boss. Maybe I should just go for it. Fight the bear. Ness misses home. Good lord. The bear became tame. 609. Maybe I should just get a level up. I'm close to another one. Well, there's this thing again. I'm just gonna press on. If I die to the boss, I'm, I'm gonna have to just come back anyway. Let's get a level and try and fight it. Why not? You engage the mole. Let's go. Bash it. Mole has been bopped. 1065. Apparently, I have the worst homesick luck that uh, Earthbound fans have never seen. You've only ever gotten homesick once in your playthrough. Really? This is like my third or fourth time? I don't remember. Okay. You only saw it once, too? Damn. Ness is feeling strange. Third just as this stream, that's for sure. 23. One offense, de one def defense. Ah. I'll take I'll take the HP and PP upgrade at least, but ban. Happened a lot in your playthrough. I guess it is kind of all over the place. Once I get past level 30, apparently that's when the chances get a little higher. Either way, if this game is gonna keep throwing it at me, then I'll just do this. Hold up. I'm gonna try a PSI Teddy Beta. Okay, hit. And that's some good damage right there. 1064. Hello, it's your dad. I'm not going to be able to cure your homesickness. You've been out there for a long time now. Maybe none of my business, but don't you think it would be a good idea to take a break? No. 
I see. Well, doesn't make me happy, but I understand your point about the fate of the world. Click, beep. Wait, wait. When you get to level 31, until level 75, the chances of getting homesick go down to 0.78%. Wait, wait. So the chances actually go down as you level up? Huh. So less than 1% chance every battle. It's basically 1% chance right now, yeah. That bear's stuck, but let's fight him. The more you level up, the tougher you get, and less, the less you'll miss home, I guess, yeah. Bash the teddy. I don't like attacking the bears at all. Oh, wait. It starts at 0%, goes to 1% at 16, then goes down at 31, and goes back to 0 at level 76. Oh, I get it. So, they, um, because you start the game around Onet, um, you're not homesick. I, I, I see what they're going for there, yeah. I'm not close to a level up. <clears throat> Pardon me here. Jeez, okay. Hang on, everyone. <clears throat> Trying to clear my throat. Jeez, I'm good. I'm gonna heal. And hang on. I'm just gonna try and fight the boss. This is getting ridiculous. Let's do it. Dad calling me doesn't matter. You finally got here. This is the second your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. Let's do it. Mondo Mole! He's bloody! Unbelievable. Let's activate shield. Shield of Light. Okay. How much does a regular attack do? 61 of the mole. He's lifing himself up. Okay, let's try a flash then. Could not stop crying. Hell yes. I'll give you something to cry about. Let's crack him. Wait. I haven't had any terms wasted by homesickness. Did talking to dad fix that? Actually... Or does it not apply to boss fights? Yeah, it looks like it went away. Shield disappeared. Let's do it again. Tore into you. Oh! Ah. Oh, thank goodness. I got it just in time. Yeah! Shield disappeared. Mole is attacking. Okay. Recover. Do five. Uh, one more of these after. He recovered. No, I'm homesick again. I went back. After he healed, too. Shield disappeared. <sighs> Fine. No, this is still the fourth time. It hasn't healed yet. Oh, great. Jar of hot sauce and use on the caramel. Didn't taste very good. 21 PP. Recover. Ness lost all motivation. Fantastic. Oh, thank goodness. We just barely made it. That was so risky, but I actually... Oh, hey, hello. Hot sauce caramel really helped out. Oh, baby. Offense went up by six. Defense went up by one. Speed went up by one. Guts went up by one. Everything went up by one except offense. Healing beta. Okay. Well then. Let's get the second melody. Little steps. 
Give me. Look at that. Another one acquired. I'm not sure if this is the same eight melodies as the last game. Ness briefly had a vision of a baby in a red cap. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of the Lilliput Steps. It's different in this one? Okay. No problem here. Now I need to go home and, well, go call my mom because I'm sick. It might be faster the Death Warp, but 6,000 for next level? Damn. I'm powerful, though. Are they running from me? Are they running from me? The Mighty Bear. Teddy Beta Blast. Enemies start fleeing after you beat the boss. Was that a thing before? I don't remember that. Last place had, like, bugs. Ness is out for blood. They're afraid because you beat the boss. That's right, they're scared. They're scared of me. It looks like I got a full heal. Uh, let's do this. Ness thought about mom. Of course he did. Did not work on Ness. Alright, blast him. Excellent. Ooh, just wondering if the audio was a little too loud this whole time. I noticed it's kind of peeking into the yellow. Take that, Mr. Bear. Did it actually heal, or is that another uh, homesickness? Wait, the sanctuary cures homesickness. Does that mean I got it again? Tell me I did not get it again. There's no way. There's no way I'm that that unlucky. <laughs> There's no way. Uh. Let's get this right here. I literally just, I somehow did. How? <laughs> How? <laughs> There's no way I just got it again. There's literally no way that's possible. Alright, moles. Ness attacks. I almost wonder if it's because I'm playing on the Switch version, it, it's activating the anti-piracy stuff. No, people would know about that if that wasn't really in the thing. Let's fight this group. Yeah, maybe it doesn't cure homesickness, because there's no way. There's literally no way my luck is that bad. You win! 9-12. Yeah, it shouldn't affect homesickness. I'm pretty sure it's just like there's lots more enemies and it deletes your saves at the very end. Wait, so getting the next melody absolutely did cure my, um... It did cure homesickness. I really did just, like, roll it again on the literal next battle. <laughs> really? <laughs> How is it working like that? Smash the mole! Too late, I'm already near the exit. Ness is not having anything today. One percent chance every battle, everybody. Remember when I was looking for one percent chance Pokemon? And it took like several hours for one of them to show up? <laughs> Where is that luck? I think I'm done. Okay. I've got $97. Oh, hang on. We're going to call Mom first before anything. And then we'll try the North Cave, I guess.
Miss picked up the receiver. Hey, Mom, what's up? You sound sad. You homesick? Well, I knew there would be days like this. It must make you feel better listening to your mom's sweet voice. Do you feel any better? Well, better get going. Click beep, beep, beep. Okay. Ultimate weapons in this game are like 1 in 256 drops. As much as possible. Dang. Fight this dude. Dang. I get three over 300 XP by walking into people now. Here we go. Whenever I feel demotivated with streaming, I should just text my mom now. Live texting on stream. Streamer asks his mommy, how, how is everything going? I need help. I don't know if I can do it. If I get stuck on a boss, I'll just be like, Mom, the talking angry mole beat me up again. And she'll be like, stop texting me, I'm working. <laughs> there we go. I still don't have a map for this place. Um, Pop you there. Yay. Oh, nice, I leveled up. More teen HP. Let's see. 8,000. I'm at level 25. I feel like I leveled up a crap ton recently. Uh, I've been recording for like over two hours. Damn. I'm having a lot of fun with this game. Like, I feel like a lot of this game... I mean, maybe the, the homesickness is annoying. But uh, for the most part, it doesn't feel like a lot of this game is like outdated. I think it holds up pretty damn well. Mother 1 has a lot of dated stuff, as much as I like it, for sure. Next level. Ness is that much. Record. Hit pay for the night. Continue. Let's go. Let's have a look in here. I didn't go to the North Cave at all yes yet. What is this? go in. Oh, it's this! Damn, I probably should have came here first. Spiteful Crow. Well, that was easy. You win. 3 XP. I got a cookie. Why didn't I auto-kill him? Ooh. Who are you, Ness? Ness, I'm so glad it's you. I had a dream that a boy named Ness was my destiny. I know it's hard to believe. Therefore, I knew you would rescue me. If you didn't come, I would have had to try to bust out of here. You can't open the door. You'll have to get the key from Carpainter. He's got it hidden away. I heard Carpainter can control lightning. In that case, you should wear this Franklin badge. Oh! What do you want to get fried by lightning? Get rid of something so I can give you the Franklin badge. Okay, then. So, if I come here first to get her, does that mean I could go to the Sanctuary Cave with her later? Or makes the game harder if you do that, really? Is that how it works? Therefore, I knew you'd rescue me. If you didn't come, I would have to try to bust out of here. You can't open the door. You'll have to get the key. Let's see here. You'd have to level her up in that case. That's true. That's true. That would take a long time. She would basically just be a liability on the team for a bit. I guess both... I mean, I'm gonna need to level, level her up anyway, but it makes sense. I can see the appeals of doing it both ways. I heard Car Painter controls lightning. You should wear this badge, okay? Ness got the Franklin badge. This was in Mother 1 as well. Come back here and get me out once you defeat Car Painter. Don't worry about me. Just kick butt like I know you can. All right. Franklin badge. By keeping it as one of your items, it deflects lightning attack back to the attacker. So I don't need to equip it, right? Yeah, I don't. Okay, perfect. Oh, 
well. Hey, Ness, <laughs> you're just here to bother me, aren't you? Boy, you can call me Master Pokey. Since Mr. Carpenter made an important person in Happy Happyism, you should join us, but I know you won't. Glad I joined. I'm not gonna fight you, but these guys will. Later, Potato. Okay. Let's get him. Oh no! The cultist got me, everybody! What do I do? I like how the crow's just there, because it's nearby. Let me say... 709. Enemy left a presence. There's a cookie. Ness cannot carry more stuff. Nah. Yeah, put the cookie down. Yeah, where you go, Pokey? Where you go? Where you going? Where you going, bro? You wanna talk? You wanna talk? Wanna play some baseball? Come on, bro. Just wanna talk to you. We're friends, right? Pokey's gone. What am I looking at for levels? I could just walk back and forth in this town for a few minutes. And probably just, get, like, get a level again. Well, now I got a Franklin badge. Do you say anything different? No. I think you can ca uh, catch Pokey with a skip sandwich. Is there any, like, unique dialogue for that? I gotta fight all of them again, don't I? The automatic win is nice. It, like, saves time. Doesn't waste your time with crap. Get away. Let's get in here. Ah! I screamed. Don't know what else to do. Thanks for coming. I've been waiting for you. I need your assistance to help rule the world. Will you be my right-hand assistant? What happens if I say yes? You fool! I have drawn you into my trap! Our painter's light was reflected by the Franklin badge. Let's get him. All right, then. Let's activate a shield. Crashing boom bang attack. It didn't hit anyone. It didn't hit anyone. Well, that's good. 83. He recovered 82. We still have the advantage. We can do it. Crashing boom bang attack. He's getting beans. His body was protected by the psychic shield. Flash. Psychic shield made the flash disappear. Oh, that's what that did. Okay, I thought it was for defense buff. Never mind. I wasted the turn. Oh, I killed him. Good. Ness gained a lot of big bucks right there. Don't, do you see the Money Money statue behind me? Since I got the statue, I've been doing peculiar things. Please forgive me if you can. I just wanted to have a normal life. I apologize to everyone. Here's the key to open the jail in the mountain cabin where Paul is being held. Take the key and go. Your backpack is full. You should take this even if you throw away one of your items. All right, hang on. Can I have to do this a lot, don't I? Please forgive me. Just want to be back. Give me the key. Ah. <laughs> uh. Please forgive me. Just wanted to have a normal life. All right. Guess we're done. So you're the boy that you went after, Mr. Carpenter, and you're awesome. Hell yeah, I am. Nobody left. Looks like almost everyone woke up and left. There are only three people remaining. I don't want to stay. I'll get out of here. 
Sorry about everything. Let's be buddies. Well, alright then. Yeah, inventory is something that definitely could use a little bit of a inc uh, change for sure. What a horrible nightmare. I somehow woke up. Ness, let's be friends again. We weren't friends before. Please answer me. I promise to be good. Okay? Ah, I lied. See you, sucker. That piece of garbage. What is his problem? He helps kidnap somebody and he's like, ha -ha, I'll see you later, bro. Hang on a sec. Is my health looking good? Yeah. Let's go get Paula. Pokey is such a dirk. Uh, jerk. I said dirk. <laughs> At first. No crows. Hello, ma'am. Ness, you got the key. You hurt? Nah. Sorry for all the trouble I caused you. What? Uh, yes. Sorry for all the trouble. Okay, it's the same thing. I just have to use the key now. Ness, use the key to the cabin. Hello, inventory slots. Let me stretch, yeah. Thank you, Ness. You're just like I imagined you would you would be. I'm sure that some people in Tucson are worried about me. Getting back there may be dangerous, but we can do it if we combine our strength. I'm able to use a little psychic power that is actually pretty deadly. Let's head back to Tucson. What did she pick up? It only took, like, over five hours, but we got the second party member. Paula joined you. Is it just me, or did it feel like this took longer? Oh, it's a teddy bear. Did this take longer than, um, getting the second party member in Mother 1? Let's have a look at her. Let me see. Paula, level 1. Everything's at 2. 8 for next level. Okay. No problem. I already did the second sanctuary, yeah. Hold up. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Save fuzzy pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. Always bring back the fondest of memories. So, just wondering, do party members talk more in this game? Does it seem like in Mother 1, they just kind of, like, talk, like, two or three times, maybe? Excellent. Yeah, I beat the boss with homesickness. This took it. Well, I hope this main guy and girl have a better, have, have a better fleshed out relationship than, um, <laughs> than Ninten does. All right, then. Let's do this. They want me to get a quick level here. Leave me alone. They give you a teddy bear because they want you to protect. I got homesick several times, yes, in the cave. I'm not auto-winning because I just got Paula, so I'm assuming that, um... Her being so weak makes the auto battle not work anymore, right? Paula took it. And suddenly there's love. Just like Teddy's. She has a Teddy? A bread roll? Hell yes. We gotta get her some equipment. What does she have right now? Probably nothing. Yep, she's not got nothing. Let's go. Perhaps I should give her a cookie, actually. Good, it makes me choose. Drugstore is here. Probably need to take out a little bit of cash first. 
Welcome to the automatic teller machine. This should be enough. Let's do this by... Yeah, frying pan for her. Yes. Two to twelve. Okay, ten there is good. Um, I probably don't have enough for- Yeah, I need to... I should buy the Holmes hat- Or no, the ribbon for her as well. The ribbon's probably the accessory slot, right? Offense- Oh, defense changed from 2 to 22. Okay, the Holmes hat and the ribbon are the same slot, so that's okay then. So now I want to buy her a copper bracelet. I know we just met and this is our first date, but she deserves a bracelet. There we go. Dad gave me lots of money. Told me to go wild. Disclaimer, I'm not like this IRL. I'll be cheap. First date is the cheapest food I can find. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't care. Um... Yeah, this is fine. Well, she'll carry this. Paula. Ness has a copper bracelet, too. Don't worry. There we go. Nice. 32 defense. Didn't I say earlier I wasn't spending my money on virtual girls? <laughs> okay. Feed her trash can hamburgers. No, nope, that's fine. Okay, we got slots. It would really, really suck if she died now. We need to return the town to its original colors. I'll be very busy. They said someone named Pokey stole all the food from the food stand. That little jerk. I heard many footprints exist down in the East Cave. People call it Little Footsteps. Hmm. It was hard in the eyes to have everything blue. Everyone has different dialogue now. My wife has run away for a second time. I'm such a lucky man. <laughs> Bro. I apologize. For what? I don't remember what he did. Paula's only level one. I gotta level her up. You really think I was a bad boy? Yeah. Careful now, chat. Remember, let's not get back seedy. Or I'll boop you with the timeout hammer. The blue cow wasn't such a great idea after all, huh? Does this guy let me stay for free now? Greetings, Ness. Please forgive my lecture earlier. You are now welcome to stay free of charge. Hell yeah. No, no, no. Just kidding. Ha 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 ha. See. Chat's being good, don't worry. Free healing. Let's get that butterfly. I should go in the cave and get a little bit of levels. Ness is powerful enough that we can level her up decently enough, I think. We might have been listening to evil messages rather than good. Okay. Oh, hi. Oh. Okay. Mr. Car Painter was pretty strange, but so was everyone else. The game is lagging. Too many NPCs nearby. What was that anti-blue place like? Was it Shigeri? Nah. You seem to thrive in places like that. If I get homesick again, I'm gonna scream. Please don't die, Paula. Here's a chance for a surprise attack. It should give her multiple levels, right? 228. Paula's level 2. Offense went up by 1. HP went up by 2. Is Paula more of a special, like, magic user like Anna was? Like, is her offense stat just worthless? 3. Guts went up by 1. IQ went up. Luck went up. Maximum HP went up by 2. PP went up by 5. PSI fire. Yes. Yes. All right. Her offense is okay, though. Yeah. Hmm. So I hope she gets lots of lots of PP to use then. Hmm. 
Oh, baby. Offense went up by three. Defense went up by one. Oh, baby. Speed went up by four. I'll take that for the magic user. Three HP, five PP. Level five. Guts went up by one. HP three. PP one. Nice. I mean, yeah, but Ness also has psychic powers. I'm just wondering, like, what her uh, main deal is supposed to be. Just looking for stuff to beat up before we go back to Tucson. I think people are saying that the, the level up stats are somewhat random, but not completely. Level 6. At least she's leveling up fast. I remember when I got Anna in Mother 1, she took forever to level up. I think I had to grind uh, between streams. PSI shield, excellent. Let's do it. I can't use the bike anymore now that I have a party member, right? So I may as well store that. I think the idea is that the bike's only usable if everyone else is dead. I wasn't really using it much anyway. Leveling up is much easier in this game now, that's for sure, yeah. Bike is basically useless now, yeah. Let me see. Something I don't like about Paula's sprite, like, look at her up and down animations. They do that thing where they just mirror the entire sprite instead of making it actually look like they're it's a cycle. <laughs> I mean, Ness does that too. Look at his cap, but it's more noticeable on Paula. All right. Get that mole. Mole's down. I'm like level third, not 30. Let me see here. I'm level 25 and she's level seven. Jeez, triple her level. She's still not where I am. I mean, yeah. Basically a memory issue. You want to have as little frames as necessary. There's only so much you can fit on a cartridge back in the day. The bike isn't that fast. Yeah, it's not really worth it. Oh, baby. PSI Thunder. Excellent. Okay, maybe go ahead and fight, like, one bear, and then turn around. She'll get more experience as we go back, but this place is giving the most until I unlock a new area, I assume. Oh. Oh! Now I auto-win. That's even better. Thank you, Just Dog, for the resub. Appreciate it. The moles are running. This just becomes easier. Especially since I lost the, uh, the cult members to attack. Let me see here. You're getting there, Paula. You're doing great. Where you going, Mr. Bear? Want to play with my teddy? Okay, we're going to use PSI Beta. I'll let her just defend still. She has, like current equipment, though, so she has good defense, I think. We never got homesick when we carried a teddy around. That's right. Ness is level 25. Ooh, that's good. Level 10. I feel like if I just get the levels in for Paula right now, it'll save me a headache later. The reason there's crows outside of the house you get her in is so you have a safe place to actually level her at first, I guess. 12 to the bear. Excellent. 300. Oh, we finally did a battle where she didn't level. Ness is 2,500. 600 for her. Nice. Come here. Come here. Other party members don't get homesick. I assumed as much, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna beat up this bear, and then I'm gonna turn back. Do that. Might as well let her use a PSI attack. Alright. 
Okay, we're gonna head back toward the exit now. Of course these chumps show up. Yeah, I'm having fun with the game, it's nice. Okay, bash the bat. Okay, attack the bear. Oh, PSI, uh, sorry. PSI fire hits the row. Oh, that's good. And it costs six. One enemy. Wait, they're called PSI, not PK. Smash lied to me. Thunder to an enemy. Hit him with freeze. Turn him to an ice bear. Ooh. That's a lot of damage. You're enjoying the playthrough? Well, I'm glad, friend. I'm having fun with it, too. It's nice to finally get to play a classic. IQ went up by one. Oh, freeze beta. Excellent. All that damage for four PP is nice, yeah. Let's do it. There are a lot of RPGs I just never played. I've said this before, but... I didn't really grow up with a lot of RPGs. Like, as a kid, I only really played Pokemon. I guess there was Paper Mario and, like, the first Mario Luigi for a long while. Let me see. You win! Let's do it. Let's hit these things, too. Surprise attack. To the mole playing rough. I want to use PSI fire and try that. Front row. Ah, that didn't do too much. Hmm. Hang on. Do that. Then just do... That. Teddy bear took damage, no! They're attacking my bear. Get plopped. I did want to try and beat a Final Fantasy game this year, but I might be doing those on my own since, you know, those games' music are kind of infamous for causing inconsistent copyright problems, so... Don't want to have to, like, do a long-ass playthrough only for, like, random parts in the middle just to get entirely claimed, right? Call is level 12, speed 1. Well, Final Fantasy would get back CD as well, true. Okay, we got more stuff from that. Check her out now. Okay. 1,400. She has a lot of PP there. My max is 66 at this level, and her max is 50. Excellent. More lately, like, I'm, I'm trying to play some more games on my own time. Specifically, because, like, there's a lot of games that are so long or wouldn't do as well on stream, so I just want to enjoy them on my own. Let's see. I'm going to go heal again before we move out. Like, uh, I've been playing mostly Elden Ring on my own time. That's been fun. I did mention that earlier, didn't I, when I talked about the bears. Alright, let's stay. There's a carnival where you are right now, in your neighborhood. Oh, it's so loud because of that. I remember one time I was streaming and I at my old, really old place years ago, and I had to, like, take a break, because I was playing a horror game, and there was- turns out there was a parade outside, and I couldn't really keep it spooky during that. Okay. Oh. Finally, I have a chance to apologize. Finally, I have a chance to apologize. Well, then apologize. No problem. I woke up from the dream. Okay, it looks like we're done here, so I guess we're going back this way. Excellent. My game backlog has grown exponentially. And... Like, if I were to, like, look at a lot of the games I play, um, there's a lot more of them that, like, the list gets even longer if I include stuff like mods as well. Um, hang on a second. I'm gonna try Thunder. It's a random enemy, I see. 
Didn't hit anyone. Fantastic. Not work on the teddy. Bash you. Let's use freeze on the little UFO. Robo destroyed. Excellent. Okay. I'm not sure if PSI attacks have more accuracy when it comes to dealing with, um... Comes to dealing with the UFO. We can just hit this thing. Bam! Nice. Lucky crit right there. Now we need to backtrack. The teddy will probably b break along the way. I'm gonna take this out, too. Extra EXP is good here. Hmm. And one-shot those. What was I saying before this overwhelming amount of enemies just showed up? Damn it, I don't remember the way back. Whatever, we'll fight him. I think it's up here. Bash that. Fire to beam. KK Thunder is just inaccurate as hell, is it? Yeah. My luck is not so great with accuracy and all that lately, is it? Yeah, I think it's this way. Fine, let's get this over with. I'll tell Paula to defend. That should help. Do that. Teddy bear died! Oh no. That's unfortunate. Ness levels up. I'll take it. It's a little bit. Some levels are definitely better than others, that's for sure. Take this. Does it restore both of our PP? Okay. Yeah, it does. Take this lead. There it is. Okay. Yeah, what was I saying? Yeah. I've been messing around in Elden Ring. Having a lot of fun with that. Just playing a build that lets me use any, um... Any weapons I want, right? Going both strength and dex. And for a while I was playing heavy. And hang on a second. Do this. That there. And now I switched to like a light build for other stuff. Because I found like these little Wolverine claws. That you can run around with two-handing. And it's actually a ton of fun. I'm finding I like the weapons in Elden Ring a lot more than the uh, other souls. There we go. Perfect. You won. Yeah, let's go up over here. They fixed the bridge. The bear's still kicking. Blue, blue. Oops, I won't say it again. I fixed the bridge as a sign of apology. I'm trying to help. Okay, thanks, bro. Catch you later. There's a happy mole. A nice friend there. Yeah, there's probably more sprouts in this cave. Paula hasn't died once, so I think we're okay. Got enough damage. Teddy bear does not have PP to take. Teddy bear is working overtime today. Hell yes. Velvet red teddy bears. Never leave home without them. There's mushrooms. I guess we should probably take you home first, shouldn't we? Let's ignore them. I don't want to deal with the mushrooms infecting me. Damn it. Alright then. Whatever, we're gonna heal. Get booked! Ninety-five. What did they kidnap her for again? I don't even remember. Where's the school at? Uh, I think it's up over... Oh, it's ahead of me, isn't it? Human sacrifice? Oh, yeah! And Pokey was gonna do that, too.
High Priestess, Human Sacrifice, eh, something. Yahoo, I knew it, you saved Paula. I don't really understand it, but I know that Paula's miraculous power and your great courage will allow you to stand up to any challenge. Paula, if you must take a trip, be sure to bring this along. It's my very own handmade band-aid. Ooh, that rhymes. I know, I'll call it a hand-aid. Paula got the hand-aid. Did you meet Dad? He's sorry he suspected Mr. Everdread of Berglund Park. Oh, right, I should talk to him, too. He wanted me to do that. Don't have anything for that. Uh, I need to buy something for her to put on. Goods. Band-Aid. I'm handmade Band-Aid. It heals your wounded body. Gone after one use. All right. Let's see here. Oh, Paula! Ness, thank you so much. You must be the boy who will save the world, like in Paula's dream. Paula, I'm sure you'd be a big help to Ness. It's not every day a father lets his daughter embark on a journey to save the world. Dad, don't worry about me. Ness and I will be able to take care of ourselves. In threat, uh, or sorry, in three, the next town will meet another friend. The three of us can combine our power, no one can beat us. Now wipe your eyes, blow your nose, and smile before we take off. Goodbye, Paula. Don't worry, I won't cry anymore. I do still have a charm. Um... Do I have to put it in her inventory for it to work? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. It's something for now. Now let's go see what's-his-face in Berglund Park. It's not Teddy. Hello? Ness? Everdread's looking for you. He's got something for you. I was gonna go do that. Making sure I don't miss that. Time for health. Hang on, I'll stretch. Ooh. I'll take you guys out first. Turn back to normal. You won! Let me get a drink, too. One HP. She's now half of Ness's level. Damn, these levels are so tiny here. Jeez. Now let's go. Let's go in. I was gonna ask you to be my partner, but I know you'll refuse. It's written all over your face. If you accepted, I was gonna give you some money. Actually, I can't keep the money now anyway. Let me give this to you. It's $10,000. Use the money any way you like. You can't refuse my generosity. Just accept it. Now I plan on looking for the evil Mani Mani statue that li Liar X ex Exaggerate unearthed in Onet. I'll see you at another time and another space. Uh... Ness got a wad of bills. Wad of bills. Where? Ah, there it is. Help. Wad of bills, a bundle of brand new crisp bills. All right then. I don't think I'm actually gonna keep the money. Please use the $10,000 any way you wish. You cannot refuse my generosity. Well then. Someone's gonna steal it, like, any second now, I swear. Nope. Alright then. I guess we need to go to three or something. Can't spend this money here. Orange kid, apple kid. They're doing their best down there, probably. Who knows? Random guy in the streets, let's get him. Uh... What that say? Unassuming local guy. Okay. 105. We turn back to normal. 73 each. Enemy left a present. It was a toothbrush. Why would I take a toothbrush off some guy in the street I just beat up? Well then. 
go for a walk. I don't remember what was blocking down here. Wait a second, I remember now. It was... Cranky lady. Hang on. It was ghosts in the tunnel. Uh-oh. The teddy bear became a pile of fluff. Does brushing your teeth cure a cold or something? Let's find out. Toothbrush can be used during battle. Gone after one use. Okay, so maybe we just kind of make one end of it look a little pointy. Who knows? Does Paula make it so I can go in the tunnel? I should check that. What did you say about it? It's just a hunch, but I think the ghosts in the tunnel don't like anything upbeat and cheerful. When I was driving in the tunnel, I was playing some grooving tunes and the ghost moved slower. The orange kid? Ma hang on, maybe the orange kid has something for that. Because the thing he gave me before broke, but I did invest in him, so... Hang on, let's take out the hippie. New Age Retro Hippie. Turn back to normal. 80 experience each. Hell yes. I do not want anybody to die in battle right now, because that would be painful. Ooh! I probably did enough damage there for him to sue me. What? He's gonna have to be alive to make a lawsuit happen. Ooh, legal loopholes. We'll take these guys out along the way, why not? Now she's faster than me. Hang on, I should check the requirements here. 8,000, 1,200, okay. Prosecutors hate this one simple trick. Let's check both of them. Maybe they have something new to say. He's not here. He's probably still in Berglund Park, then. Go inside. I'm having more trouble than I expected. I found a problem in one of Einstein's theories. I'm hard at work. Don't worry. My invention will be ready soon. Okay, I'll get back to work. Darn it. He's not what I need, then. Hmm. Maybe. I got $51. You know what? Maybe I'll buy a hint. I'm gonna buy a hint. Streamer isn't gonna be cheap and get hints for free from chat. Uh, what, what butt? Oh, it's up there. Okay. The map is actually very useful. Remember how, like, vague the map looked in, uh, Mother 1? God, that was annoying. Now, wait a minute, youngster. I could give you a great hint for $50. You'd like a hint, wouldn't you? Sure. The Runaway Five, the band at the Chaos Theater, is up their eyes in debt. Could anyone... Oh, that's what the Wad of Bills is for! Oh, come on. Why would I assume I'm supposed to give the money to someone else? <sighs> I'm a streamer. I'm not designed for that line of thinking. Okay, then. Thanks for giving us up there, friends. All right. Wait, maybe I give it to him outside. It's my money. You don't deserve it. Mine. I didn't think about that. Hey, you came with Paula. Then you deserve a present, playboy. Here's a backstage pass. You can get to our shows with this. Oh, that works, too. Paula got a backstage pass. You can even get into our dressing room. Come with your girlfriend. We'll be waiting. You're with a girl today. You must be pretty popular. How about introducing her to my bandmate? He's right there. All right, then. Oh, here we go. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fuzzy pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It always brings back the fondest of memories. I don't know why he's doing this. I feel like this is going to build up to something. Guess I lost my ticket. Can't get in. Ticket counter at the apartment store was sold out. Hello, please present your ticket. Hang on, can I go back? Want to see Poochie Fudd, the manager? Right through the door, please. 
that's the manager, so hang on. I didn't give them the wad of bills yet, but let's go backstage first. I want to see if I need to do anything there first. Here you go, hurry, you're just in time to see the Runaway 5 show. Let's go. Everybody's having a nice soda, isn't that nice? Hey you kids, how'd you get tickets? What are you, the owner's kids or something? I came here because it's tough to get in, but I'm kind of disappointed. There's no good looking waitresses, and there's no room for the uh, to show off my latest dance moves. You know, I think it's pretty tacky to entertain our company's business partner by taking to him to a Runaway 5 show, but since I'm new to the company, I better just toe the line. Okay. Well, well. I got a little kid here talking to me like he's an adult. I give you one thing. You got guts, kid. Obvious bait is obvious. They seem too proud, I mean. They just filled up this little musical hall, after all. My boyfriend lost the ticket I gave him. He's waiting outside the entrance. He's got butterfingers, but he's nice. Hey, hey, hey! Don't get too close to me. I just farted. Haha, <laughs> sorry. When I sit close to the stage, sometimes I get sweat or spit on me from the Runaway 5. Okay. Seeing the Runaway 5 on stage is my life. You kids are bouncing around talking to everyone. It's getting annoying. The Runaway Five are going to be a world-famous band someday. Ooh. You like baseball? Nah. I see. Well, you don't look like you could figure out a sophisticated game like baseball anyway. <laughs> okay. I knew it. Your cap gave it away. Lucky of the Runaway Five told me I could go backstage, but I don't have a pass. I'm sure security will stop me. Hey, really? You have a pass? I can't believe it. Can you take me with you, please? Please? I could pose as your sister. Yes? This rocks. Let's go. Oh, my heart's pounding. Oh, okay, we're forced to go now. I'm so excited I might just wet myself. My heart is going pitter-patter. So excited. Uh... That's great. I'm not talking to you. You're in the way. Well, yeah, in the old days, there was lots of old dancers and acts in the theater. Except now, we're the only act playing here. We even got into debt here, so we're pretty uh, near stuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Folks of Tucson enjoy the Runaway 5 show for quite a few years, looks like to me. Okay. Hey, you get to see our show! You lucky kid. Hope you pay attention. I wrote the lyrics to most of the Runaway 5 songs. Money. That's what I want. Money. That's what is hot money. That's what I want. Money. It's what we ain't got. Except freedom. Freedom, freedom is what we really sought. I want some bread. I need the coinage. I want more dough all the time. Shaba do wap diddly dee da. Shaba di do be bop wa. I got those debt blues. Hmm hmm hmm. If I had $10,000, I could pay off my debts and move on to the next town. Wonder if our bus still runs. Maybe rust it out. All right then, buddy. Don't tr try to use your play money here, kid. Oh my gosh, that's not real money, is it? Wow. Uh. He doesn't, okay. He didn't want it. Do you not want it? That's not real money, is it? Wow. Do I gotta give it to someone else? Well, hello, you got cash, some nice stuff to boot. Okay, then. Maybe I have to give it to the manager. That's probably it. Let's go outside. Where, where'd everybody go? Yeah, that's right. Tonight, you got the Chaos Theater's Soul Men coming at you. Rocking and rolling li live on the stage for a limited time only. The world's greatest bluesmen, the Runaway Five, and here they come. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, they're dancing. Legally distinct friends. They're like brothers, but they're not quite blue. Maybe if they were in the other town, actually. Yeah! 
That's right, Mother 1 did have that dance number too, didn't it? I recall that. Six members of the Runaway Five. Yeah, there, there are six of them. Everybody's left as well. <laughs> Everybody's gone! Charlie Brown moment, everybody. Everybody should boop like a teddy. Just spinning around. Also, what's with the floor? The floor is the new battle. No wonder they're in debt. They kind of remind me of Mario and Luigi. It's like... Have I heard that melody before? Never. The tall, lankier ones in green and the other ones in red. Well, oh, they didn't want to load the NPC sprites, that's why. I get ya, I get ya. Well, well, got a little kid here talking to me like he's an adult. Give me one thing, you got guts, kid. Hey, 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 don't get too close. Just farted. Okay, same thing. Oh, pardon me. Hang on. Try giving the one a cash to this dude. The Runaway Five owe me a lot of money. They'll stay here till they pay me back. They might be here for a hundred years, unless you decide to pay off their debt. Yes, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Excuse me, what's that you got there? Let me take a real close look. Here. Would you like to see this money, good sir? Yipes! You surprised me. Now I'm not sure what to do. I got the money, of course, and now the Runaway Five are free to leave. I got no complaints now that I got my money. Well, what do you know? This little nipper took us from a nightmare to a dream. Ow, this means we can get out of this dump. I'm a good driver. Come on, I'll show you. All right, let's move on to the next town. I'm sure old hunk of junk will get us there. I didn't make a spectacle of myself, did I? Well then, they're free to leave, got no complaints. Let's go! Wait, wasn't there six? Was there five there that time? I've... Well, whatever. Let's go to Threed. Our tour bus is too loud for any ghost to bot. Oh, that's how we have something upbeat. We, get, we just get on the Funky Blues bus. That works. You want a ride? Hell yeah. Let's go. Get on the bus. Runaway 5 tour bus. Yeah, let me get on. Okay, guys, here we go. Hey, sidewalk, get out of my way. That's not how you drive. You almost hit that dog. Nothing cheery about that. Imagine Teddy Ursa sticking his head out of the window. He's just, like, going for a happy ride. If we had Teddy Ursas, they'd be unaffected by ghosts, because ghosts can't affect normal types. Yeah. Happy-go-lucky ride. Um... How long is the tunnel, though? I don't think there's any way to get through this normally. Like, they hard block you up to a certain point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't mind us, just a bunch of ghosts in there. Aliens were the problem, but not here. Too funky. Oh, now everything's blue again. Welcome to Threed. There's a drugstore. Pizza! Uh, looks like we gotta say goodbye for now. This town seems pretty gloomy, but I'm sure you can light the place up with your own brand of sunshine. Well then. Hope to see you again sometime. Look for us, uh, look for us to be singing at the same, some theater in Foreside. I can read. Happy-go-lucky adventure, and then we stop at Spooky Town. Welcome to Threed, everybody. Uh, there's a circus in the middle. To desert. Okay, so the desert must be what we go through in order to get to, uh, Foreside. Hospital is blocked out there. There we go. There's graffiti here. Just play it. Just play it. Just play what? Let's have a little look around. I just realized, though, 
I've been going about as long as I have. Ah, oh, damn it! I didn't see that. Ah! Oh, fantastic! A zombie dog and a bunch of bumbles. I need to go to. I need to find a hotel. Just fire. No good fly. It's clearly a bumblebee. PSA fire. Dash the zombie dog. Wait, what did I... I hit the wrong thing. I prayed? What did that do? Fantastic. Okay, then. Let's use PSI Teddy Beta again. I didn't even notice that. I didn't even notice that. Did I revive the bees? Praying makes a random effect happen. Oh, cool. That was smart of me. Let's do it. You won! I'm assuming I don't want to bother using it. That was a lot of XP for that. Well. Basically, a last resort option is what it seems like. Hang on, let's check the trash. Taking this girl in the date of her life. Plain old garbage. Oh, I was hoping to find a hamburger for her. Hang on. Where was hotel? It's up there, next to bus stops. Welcome to the circus. I saw a suspicious woman talking with zombies around here. Fantastic. That person's dead up there, jeez. Welcome to Threed Sunset Hotel. One night will cost you $120. Would you like to stay? Um, a little short. That's okay. I imagine it costs more now because it it's one free... Uh, it's like 60 per party member, I think, right now, right? Hold up a sec. Yeah, let me stretch. Account currently shows... Ooh! That's good. Okay, then. Let me see. Whatever, just take out 160. We always have money on us. Welcome to Three Hotel. Yes. Now we're all healed up. Sir, are you going out? The guest newspapers that were delivered in the hotel today are different than normal. The paper is called Zombie Herald. I'm scared, but let me tell you what's in it. Destroy the humans. Hold the town for our glory and for the glory of our master. Maybe she get out of this town a little quickly. That's what I'm thinking. What's in here? Be careful when walking around outside, especially near the graveyard. Okay, then. The dead have come back to life. Haven't seen that one happen before. Make a save here. Ness picked up the receiver. Yeah, it's called Dad. More money. Hell yes. Not bad. Create a record of your adventure. Continue. Yes. Click the beep beep bop. Okay, it does look like I've been going a little over three hours, so about the same as last episode. I'd say I could stop this here. And we can get ready to switch games. Oof. This does seem like a good place to stop, though, as well. I did just reach a new town. We did the whole stuff with the cults. Um... I'm not sure if I'm lo too low level or high level for this point. Paula's getting caught up, but um, she's still kind of... She's still kind of weak right now to be like a main use. Her HP's low. I need to find a better equipment. I'd probably spend some money on the drugstore next time, but we have an entire town to check out. And then we have a starting point for what to do next time. Anyways, if you're watching on YouTube, this is where this episode stops. Have a good night, and bye-bye.